What's good, Footy Culture fam? My name is Matthews, aka Matt, aka Matt Zinio, aka you know I'm balling the way my bills rustle. And today we're coming at y'all with a little <laughs> little postseason content of the Footy Culture <laughs> podcast. We got Italy yeah, slander yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the chopping block. You got Canada. What's going on with them, man? Oh, you guys man, protesting, about... striking? Yeah, I man. don't know, man. And more, but that being said, once again, I'm joined today by Dave. What's up? What's up? You know what we do. You know who we are. You know who we are, man. We got Dan on cam. <laughs> Take those glasses <laughs> off, man. We got Jay in the Italy kit, bro. I don't know what you're doing over there, man. I'm a Canadian footballer, though. With the Italy, though? <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyways, we got a special guest in the building yeah, today. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The man yes. from neighborhood himself. Man like Ant Sorella. What's yes. good, brother? What's up, man? I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Appreciate excited you, bro. Be here. Appreciate Thanks for you. coming out, man. And then this guy. Last but not least. Me, yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, the Juve guy. Juventino in what kid is that? Come wow, on, wouldn't you gotta be rep me. your colors, bro. You gotta rep the Bianco Neri. So Come on, it wouldn't be me, bro. I wouldn't wear a different. We're jersey. France. <laughs> it's a national kit, man. Sure. That's a City of B jersey now, actually. Yeah, well, it's nice. I'm off to rep City of B. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right. Just making sure. Anyways, boys. Speaking of uh, Italy, la finalissima. Talk to me, boys. Boys, boys, boys. What man. happened, man? Argentina, Italy. <laughs> Listen. Let's, let's all be real here, okay? We know Italy's not in the best shape right now. I'm not even going to sit here and make an excuse for it. To say the least. Yeah, okay, <laughs> fine. I mean, okay, sure. We'll, we'll say that. To say the least, <laughs> it was a poor performance. Amazing performance by Messi in Argentina. I will say, well played. It, Italy, look, we're, we're in a restructure. We got we to gotta switch it up. Old generation, trying to get the new guys in. I'm sure you guys saw the game after Nations League. Didn't look too bad. I won't go there yet, though. It was bad. It was fucking bad. I will just say that. Embarrassing. I'd say embarrassing. Yeah. It all was. right. <laughs> I, will, I, I can't even, I can't argue it. I can't argue it because it's the truth. And if I come on here and I try and say, <laughs> oh, you know, differently, it is what it is. I will say though, big Euro, just, just about a year, a year and a bit ago. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that, okay. Can I say that? It's already, it's already forgotten by many. Dude. Can I, can I say that? Or you guys, okay, guys okay. were like, oh, bro. Like, you know. all these no, no. All these Italians are holding in their back pocket now. Like, oh, but we just finished watch, winning the Euro. Yeah, but the Euros, uh, though. But the Euros. <laughs> can't forget Euros about that. Euros. Hold on. This is something I wanted to say before that I think Italy doesn't get enough credit for, okay? They, they get the job done without a star team. Look at the team that won the Euros. Did you ever think they were going to go in and win that? No. Okay, so, but does that mean it was a fluke? No, but but okay. Even go back to two thousand six. Same thing. Look at that team aging, and they win the oh, World Cup. But they're a good <laughs> come team. on. You know, you're, you're talking about Totti, Del Piero, on, Pirlo, but, but Gattuso. Aging, but aging, aging. But still no, class players. Legends. Though. Okay. Not a, not that like Chiellini, Bonucci. Now that's aging. Like but what are you talking Totti, about? Del Piero. That's that's not, that's not oh, aging, that, dude. That was shaved head, Del Piero. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the guy couldn't even play a full half. Like you know oh, what I mean? True. Giardino, same thing. Aya Quinta. Who are these guys? But yeah. at the end of the day, went out and got the job done. So, listen, I'm not trying to discredit what happened in the finalissima. It truly shows where the Italian national team is. Fine. But at the same time, it's a rebuild. I'm okay with it. I can accept it. It's hard to swallow the no two World Cups in a row. That's pretty embarrassing for a country that's supposed to be, you know, a footy country. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you take the L's where you get them. You take the dubs where you get them. Right? So, like, I, I like to say, okay, look, use, use a team like, let's use a team like Brazil, for example, okay? What have they done, All, although they can make the World Cup a million times and whatnot, what have they actually done? And if you're going to say the Olympics, I'm going to end up What have they right done there. since when? Since the last time they've won a, a, a major trophy. No Olympics and no Confederations. Copa America, 2019. Okay. Now, a tournament that is played... Man, okay. what's all these speculations? No, 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 hold on, hold on. A tournament that's played what? Is it every year, every other year? It's nah, every, like, nah, four years now. It used to be every year. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, every that year. That was the whole year, centenario yeah. BS, bro. Like they had to celebrate the hundred year anniversary and then this and that. Yeah, that's like, what it was, right? Yeah. How many what, times? How many times in a row was it like every year? Like how, how long was that period of time? And and was Brazil's win in that period of time? Between 2019 and the the one where it was like I, I, for for however long it was. Um, Anniversary? Every year or whatever. like. Okay, before 2019, the yeah. last one they won was 07. And in that time, I'm saying, how many years stretch? How many tournaments were there in, in like a five They did 2015, stretch? 2016, 2019, 2021. Mm. 
That's kind of brutal, to be honest. <laughs> wow. Wow. Four, four years or five years, four tournaments? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. So then you have to look and say, well, how much is that really worth? Okay, then what trophies were? Just World Cup? That's the only thing that could be worth for Brazil? No, well, no. If, if, if you're doing the tournament every four years, there's more... Yeah, that's fair. But so okay, like, listen, I'm I'm circling around I'm circling around Italy, but and and this whole thing. But what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, they're in a bad place now. But we'll take the dubs where we get them. Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll celebrate. We'll celebrate that. F- Finalissima. How often is that? And didn't they just bring that back? Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been around for like a while, bro. Yeah, okay. It's like '93. Yeah, like '90s. <laughs> so, bro. You guys gonna really diss us like that? <laughs> these, right these, after a Euro? These guys were saying that they would trade in the, the Euro. Well, I don't know if it was these guys or the guys when the we did the Serie A, but they said they would trade in the, the Euro Cup just to make the, the World Cup. Would you I do think that? That's, I think that's valid. I don't think I, I would. I wouldn't. For, for Italy's point of view, I think that's valid. I would not trade that at all. I would really? definitely I would definitely keep the Euro over making the World Cup this year. Yeah. Really, eh? I would. I, 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 you have to. back to back, though. Listen, back to back is tough, all right? I, I will say back to back is tough, but. I wouldn't trade it. You would trade it. You how old were you? How old were you in 2014? In 2014? Yeah. How old was I in 2014? Uh, like 18. Yeah. And how old are you gonna be in 2026? <laughs> <laughs> bro, the age difference uh, is crazy, bro. 12 years. That's bad. I know. That's, I know. that's a lot of missed market lane. A lot of missed college, Saint Clair. I know. <laughs> but but like we got such a good run in the Euro. Yeah. Okay. You were there. Lucky well, run. There. Legend, legend has it. You were there. I was. Legend, there. legend has it. Jay was <laughs> celebrating like he was a tally. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him right now. Yeah, this guy's wearing an Italy kit, man. Show him Italy tat, bro. Don't come on. Don't <laughs> tally, bro. Show don't show me. your Italy tat. <laughs> small, man. Small, just like Italy. Respect. Bro. Hey, yo. Wow. I, I think like I think like two Ooh. of those stars should be like. Like blurry a little yeah. bit. Yeah, or maybe like half star. <laughs> like, like an ashtr- a star. Oh, yeah, 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 asterisk yeah, next yeah, to the star. How many of yours should be blurry? None. None. All <laughs> fair World Cups. 2002, you think was fair? Yeah. That was that was the worst whoa. run World okay, Cup. Okay, it, whoa. Whoa. it wasn't. Whoa. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't fair for Italy or Spain. No. Okay, but what does that have to do with Brazil? Yeah. Exactly. Worst run World Cup of all time. Nah, I don't know about that. No. Okay. Come worst on. run See, World Cup of all time? That, Come on. the 2002 World Cup was run like the Stone Ages it was run like the fucking it was run like Italy <laughs> here we go World Cup that right. should be blurred out here man. we go blurred okay let me let me ask blurred. a question let me ask okay. a question okay so what is on the bright side for Italy like what's a bright spot going forward if, if I'll oh. go player wise and I'll say Sandro Tonali and I know everybody and I've been preaching this last because he's years. a Milanista no, no 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 he's solid though he's solid though solid player started off rough though for Milan though he did, he yeah, did. But uh, going just, going from Brescia to AC Milan, yeah, obviously a bigger squad, right? Clubs changing. Pioli, Pioli is almost just stepping in, you know, bringing his style of play. So it, it can be expected, younger player, mm-hmm. but solid season. He looked good yeah. in their Nations League game against uh, against Germany. looked looked amazing. Yeah. And what I like, and what I like about him is quiet guy. Not big in the media, just does his thing, goes, gets the job done. You know what I mean? He's one of those solid guys. Kind of reminds me of like a mixture of like Pirlo, a little bit of Gattuso, maybe some De Rossi in there. For me, that's Italy's bright spot. You build around a center mid. It's always good to have like a strong guy. He's one of Italy's bright spots. Obviously, Chiesa, you have to say it. Will he be the same after the injury? That's, that's, so. that's, the, that's the problem. That's a I big think question. So. Think so? He's not, he's not someone that takes like training lately. No, but like he's an explosive type of player, bro. And he did his ACL. Like it's tough to come back. Yeah, but that. nowadays like... Now it's, it's easier. A couple of ACLs to usually lose that that burst. <laughs> you're holding. Like, yeah, no, 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 I don't know. No, 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 I'm saying like you have to injure that a couple of times. Like the, after the first one, you see like players coming back perfectly fine. Fati. Look at Z- yeah, Zaniolo. Fati lost speed. Not really. Yeah, he's not as a little bit. As he was but he's also done too. Yeah, Zaniolo's done too. No. Yeah, he's done too though. Yeah. He's way yeah, slower. Too, he's way slower. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. But he's still he he's still quality. I'd say. Yeah, but a player that relies on their explosiveness. Having done their ACL like that, I think it'll be fine. It's rough, but I I did read something today that he said he's uh he's the whole summer he's not vacationing. And no, he's, he's not. Uh, and he's uh, training. Damn. Training. shouldn't be, bro. No, this is dedication. So okay, you see that you're like, all right, cool. Obviously, we have. It could, this can be argued. If this was last year, this would not be able to be argued. But Donnarumma, okay. one of the best goalies, if not the best in the world, mm-hmm. potentially. I still put him up there. there. So, <laughs> okay, so no one's like, yeah, he is, eh? Okay, fine, all right. I say Courtois right now. Best in the world. No, you're, you're recency biased. No, no but, but he's yeah, been solid all say, season. He's, just, he's been solid all season. He's on and off for me. Would, 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 you guys, would you guys say Donnarumma could potentially be arguably the best in the world? 
I rather I would take Donnarumma over Courtois. It's just Donnarumma had that that little blunder against that blunder against uh was against Madrid. Madrid, yeah. yeah. Which yes. pretty much ruined, but, yes. ruined his picture a little bit. For sure. And he looked he looked a little he had moments in the in the last Nations League game. But that comes from obviously not playing yeah. every game. Mm-hmm. So well, that's his problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should I'm the one that should be saying that. Yeah. But uh <laughs> another bright spot for Italy. And then we'll see. We'll see what happens. I like the coach. He's, he's making them play attack, or he's trying to at least making them play attack-minded soccer, mm-hmm. right? So, those are the really only bright spots. I'm not, I'll be honest. With so, you. Tonali is like your number one kind of bright spot. It, it, it that is the most like underrated take, but I'm okay. telling you, we'll sit back down here in like a year from Jeez. now, two years from now, you guys will be like, yo, he was right. And I've been saying okay. this ever since, dude. Ever since I met you, I think no, I've yeah. been talking Tonali. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. And so he's been slowly you've getting been bigging better. him up. Yeah. So, so Tonali over Barella. Yeah. Hundred really, yeah. percent. I mean, they're both they're yeah. both they're both good. I'm not like, but I think Tonali. Tonali offers, I think, a bit more. He does, yeah. On both sides, quality. Yeah. But Barella's really, in my eyes, just the engine, mm-hmm. like that engine player who just runs all box game. To box. Yeah, exactly. Tonali it has a pieces of that, but he still has more skill and I think better vision of the game. Yeah. Would you say Tonali's generational? Ooh. I think the next two years decide that. Yeah. The next Ooh. two years to decide that. He's at that age where I think he'll be, he just turned 22, if I'm correct. So, yeah, you know, he is. Yeah, so 20, like by 24, I think you'll know. You know what I mean? I think by 24, you'll know. Obviously, with AC Milan's newfound dominance. Jeez, yeah. after, after one, one, that's after one, one, one season? <laughs> already no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> dominance? You guys were struggling to the last game. <laughs> no, what, what do you mean struggling? That's no. crazy, bro. <laughs> You watched the last two, three games with me. Bro, it seemed like no one wanted to win at that point. Like, y'all no, no, like no. Hold on, hold losing. on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I know what you're saying. I know you're saying. But I'm telling you, their dominance begins now. Okay. okay. This is it a begins. start, huh? For how long? Listen, Another year, maybe? I, I think for sure, I was saying this to you, I think for sure AC Milan wins the Scudetto next year. It's like, yeah, back to back. I'm going to say not even a question. Jeez. Like, I'm going to go. Gonna get stronger, oh. Juve is going to get stronger. You don't no. think Juve's Wait, who's Juve getting stronger with? Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> hold on. Pogba's like, going to PSG. Di Maria's not going there. And even <laughs> how's how's, how's Inter getting stronger? They're definitely going to make. They're going to make moves. They hey, supposedly moves. Lukaku. Yeah. yeah, Lukaku coming back. Speeds are saying Lukaku might come back. I heard uh, they're going to get Bremer from Torino. Yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of things too, but I'm hearing and, and happening are two different things. As of right now, teams stay where they're at. Milan wins again, even if oh, I think. Yeah. Even if I think Inter. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. 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 There's one with that team. Okay. I mean, Leal. yeah. Leal getting better. Tonali getting better. Magnon. Yeah, great. Come player. on. What do you think about Donnarumma leaving to PSG? It, it, listen, it might have actually been be- like Best. a better thing for Milan. Think so? You think Magnon's better? <sighs> I mean, if you have to look at the last year, yeah, 100%. Be- uh, uh, Serie A MVP. Just, just an absolute beast. Like, in, in big moments, showed up in our, in our mm-hmm. game against Liverpool. Save the pen, um, you know. Just he just plays well in the big games. Yeah. Donnarumma minus the Euro was like wasn't really doing that. Maybe he wasn't put on the. He didn't have that. I mean, the I year before know. Donnarumma got a uh, player of the. I mean, the goalie of the city as well. Yeah, he did, and then he went to the fucking PSG, and now he's okay. Is that a mistake for him? Was I'm that a mistake? Donnarumma now, bro? Yeah, Dollar Donnarumma. <laughs> that's what I've heard. I, I just feel like Donnarumma. Like, I think Milan had to get rid of him because he was starting to be a little bit of a brat. Yeah. 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 At the end of the season, like but he wa- he was asking for so much because Raul is his bro, They had say, to they had to say. ask. He had to like he brought his brother with him. Like bro, <laughs> it's a package deal. He was bro. getting paid a mil a million like, bucks, dude. A million a million euros. Nothing. That's when you're a brat. You have to sign my brother too, or else I'm not I'm not joining. Like what? Well, family first, bro. What do you mean? Nah, but nah. clearly he has that leverage, though. Yeah, that's not. I don't think that's good though. Yeah, but then he lost for it. a club. He lost it. Went to PSG, and what did he do? He literally was the was the reason they lost. He doesn't screw up in in Champions League. Uh, against Madrid, fuck up that that ball, mm-hmm. and maybe PSG's through, and maybe your guy could have actually done something. Which guy? <laughs> Neymar. Neymar. Who else? <laughs> Relax, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyways, though, <laughs> we've clearly like transitioned to Serie A a little bit. You're talking about Milan dominance. Yeah. Um, let me ask this: We have this debate all the time. Who's the bigger club? <laughs> Who's the bigger club? Milan <laughs> or Juve? Damn. Yeah. Listen, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll start the argument with this question, or the debate with this question. Sure. How many Serie A's, A's would you give up for a UCL? Oh, oh, oh that's a good one. I like that. How many? Five? That's tough. 
Uh, you give up five for sure. The last for nine years? UCL? For one? For one. Chris, how old are you when Juve won the UCL? <laughs> <laughs> Minus? Were you bored? Yeah, <laughs> nine months? <laughs> nine <laughs> months? <laughs> how many? That's the first question. Yeah, probably around close to five, but Gee, that's I don't crazy. think I'd do five. Maybe What's like four the safe three, number? Three or four. Okay, let's say four. So we have seven, Jeez, right? Yeah. So seven times four, I don't even know. What is that, 28? 28. So you're saying our seven UCLs are worth 28 Serie A's. But then the argument goes, oh, well, Juve has more Serie A's. Okay, well, then if you are you yourself, a Juventino said, seven UCLs is worth 20, 28 Serie A's, then, I mean, we already, like, if we're going to go comparison of trophy to trophy, mm -hmm. they're on top, right? That, and then another thing I want to make, uh, another point I want to make is you guys won, was it 10? Was it 10 straight? 10 in a row, 9. 9 in nine a row. During literally the downfall of Serie A. <laughs> so like how much are those worth? Teams going bankrupt. Well, who's is that? No, no, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a business thing. But at the end yeah. of the day, like, okay, now in comparison to Milan, right? When Milan was at the top of Serie A or at least battling with all the big teams and having their glory, they were still winning UCLs. Like they were competing at the top of Europe okay. while they were, while they were, at the top of Serie A. Okay. Now, that's why I'm saying even when Juve was at the top of Serie A, it was because Serie A was in shambles and they couldn't go out in Europe and get the job done. Well, yeah. Just I, know, I know you never heard that first point before. Just in final. About final. adding up the UCLs to account well, you, for yeah, I mean, Serie listen, A you gotta say. Like, that's you know a good I mean? way to put it. I never heard that before. Okay. Well, what it's, what's it worth to you, right? Yeah, That's course. where it becomes personal, but I mean, I mean, the numbers really speak for themselves, right? And, and I just... I. Nine Serie A's in the the downfall. You guys won because you were because you were like run better. You had better business yeah. in the back end. I mean, but, yeah, but no, no team was even close. Like we, I, I think even if you guys were at, at your point now, like if Milan was the Milan now playing those nine years, I don't think they would have won a Serie A. No way! Yeah. So? No. Now you bet this team would with who, bro? Me. Tevez? Kalitos, bro. Tevez was one of the best, <laughs> oh, one of the best strikers. Marquise was nasty. You're you're telling me, you're Pogba, telling me that team bro? wouldn't destroy this Milan. Listen, would it? Would they there? Would there UCL be UCL finals during that that nine years? And didn't get the job. Yeah, done. I know what happened. No they pedigree. Two the two best teams of no all time. No pedigree. Doesn't matter. They couldn't get the job done. It just is what it is. On the UCL stage, right. you couldn't get the job done. I know what you're saying. There would definitely be, I think, some back and forth. But come on, bro. Okay, I have, I, have, I have a way for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let getting, hey, get ready, eh? Okay, yeah. so <laughs> let's hear it. We're going to go with, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a little bit. We're going to go a little bit to, to Prime, just give you an example. Okay. So, Nottingham Forest has UCLs. Arsenal doesn't. Who's the bigger club? <sighs> okay. I see what you're saying. Obviously, Arsenal. Mm -hmm. We'll say that. So then, why can't Juve be the bigger club? Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> Again, you're just looking at like how much. Okay, I know, many, I know, many, I know what CDA is, but CDA means you're the best team in Italy, and we've been the best team in Italy for 36, 36 times. Thirty six, technically thirty eight, but two of them got taken away. But Why again? I don't know Which, if yeah. I like. I don't know if I like that example. Yeah, I don't know if I like the asterisks on there, bro. No, yeah. I don't know if I like that think, Nottingham example. Why? Because they're not a big club. But they have two. Sales. That was the seventies. Yeah, but you're comparing two teams who play in the top flight. Milan or Milan and Juve are the two time. biggest clubs in Italy. Yeah. We're about all time though. Nottingham's okay, not top ten enough. in England. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. was the last time Nottingham, Nottingham was in the Prem? I have no idea. Exactly. Like, like twenty I, years. I know what you're saying. I know. I, I know what you're trying to say. But at the end of the day, like yeah, you're you're comparing yeah, like enough. Juve, Milan to Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Scratch, scratch, me, scratch that. Scratch that. Let me start again. Start again. again. Okay. Better go, comparison. Okay. Bro. So we need something better. <laughs> Come on. I I would say AC Milan's a better tournament team, but I think, in my opinion, the league is harder to win because it's out of thirty eight games. Like you gotta you gotta be consistent throughout the whole season, and Juve has done done that. Obviously, the best of any other team. Yeah, I mean, again. Nine of them, when literally like like the league was in absolute shambles. Like I don't know, how, I don't know how else to put it. The teams they yeah. had no money. Like you're talking about Milan with Kevin Constant. Like, Kevin you know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, you, you think know, of like, nine away, we're still ahead of you guys. Mexis in the back. Mexis doing back. scissor kicks. Jeremy Menez, bro. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> bro A lot on, of dodgy man. referee decisions too. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. always play with twelve men, bro. Like, how's yeah. that fair? <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the other thing I heard. <laughs> Milan has like, has had the most penalties the past two years. No, Ooh. no, no. Yeah. no. Nah, that, apparently no, that's true. Apparently that's true. I think I think it was entered. But I mean. For me, for me, I got to go bigger club, Milan. Obviously, I'm a Milan fan. Fine. You can mm -hmm. put the bias there. But the UCLs matter. They obviously do, yeah. The UCLs matter. 
And I think the brand matters. I think AC Milan is a bigger global mm. brand than Juventus is. Are they? Can you agree on that? I think. I think <laughs> can, can we can we mix it? Can we agree on that? I brand, think so. Brand, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You think so? Yeah, I do think so. I think Juve might have surpassed them when they had Ronaldo, but now that they don't, they're gonna go right back. So, are you saying Ronaldo is bigger than Juve? Uh, you, I think Ronaldo's. You're basically calling Juve a small no, club. No, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Finally. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Because, no, when you think of, obviously, when he was at Juventus, who do you think of first? Can be Ronaldo. When he was at Madrid, who do you think of first? Ronaldo. No player is bigger than the club, though. No player is bigger than the club. Mbappe I'm saying, like, is. It's, it's close. <laughs> besides Mbappe. <That's>... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clear, apparently. <laughs> But, like, you, you've seen what he does to teams. Like, he goes to a team and he brings... I'm just going off, like, social media-wise. Like you I don't know how many. They made millions of followers just, just from that sign. Where are the trophies at, though? <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, well, bro. What is Big it? rebrand, too, in 2017. Yeah. 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 But yeah. No history. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no culture. Just no... They, I just feel like Juve doesn't have the culture. Like, you know what I mean? They're bland. Do you they think have they have no, no culture? They, there's no, no like, there's no like, there's no seasoning, like, there, no there's flavor. No, there's no kids YouTubing like, the best Juve moment. That's what I said. No one dreams of playing for no Juve. That's what I said. No, no one dreams of it. That's well, the thing. Not? Like, why not? People look, why not? No, crying? no, they, they, they <laughs> no, they, no, no, they don't. That's the thing. There's, like, there's just, they don't have that, that cult, like it's just Man, it's culture. Like. When you used to watch those like Nike commercials or like those Pepsi commercials, always Milan players, 100%. Madrid players, Barcelona. Players. It was never a Juventino player. <laughs> Except Brazilians. Yeah, like what what Juventino <laughs> player changed like footy at, at some point or like left like such a mark where people are like, like who Nedved? Like, well, get me wrong, an amazing player. Martini, is he done? Okay. Does Zidane do more at Juve or Madrid? Yeah, then that's another well, question. He, he won his Ballon d'Or technically from Juve. Yeah, he did. That's true. Yeah. No, no, okay. All right. Platini had three. Or is it two? What year? No, Platini has three. 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 All, at All at Juve. All at Juve. What years? Sorry. I can't tell like you. Like 84, 85, Stone age. I said I couldn't yeah, tell it's you. It's a long time ago. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, global, international brand, I think. Milan's bigger. Of course. So. Better players too. All time. All, All time. time. Yeah, I'll give you that. All time yeah. better, but. So we, we you keep giving them to me. Just give me the full thing. You I, know what I mean? I've always said I think Milan's the bigger Italian team in Europe, but in Italy, Juve is the bigger Italian. It's a bigger team in Italy. Do Juve have more fans in Italy? You think? I have no idea. That I don't know. I, that I, I wouldn't know. Bro. <laughs> if I had to guess, though, I think I think Milan has more. Fans. If I had to guess, again, yeah. global I mean, brand. I mean, you guys split with Inter, so I don't know. You guys, have <laughs> which is brutal, but a new ownership. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, new stadium. That'd wow, nice money being pumped into On the club, bro. What an actual stadium for themselves. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Finally, Jeez, so after like, years. Think about that. If okay, now back to Milan dominance. If Milan gets the money injection, gets their own stadium, mm -hmm. how does Juve compete? Juve stadium is how many people? Barely anything, dude. It's like size what? of BMO. Bro? I was gonna say <laughs> size of <laughs> size of like forty six. It's the size of BMO, dude. Yeah. Milan's gonna build a stadium double the size. Why? Because they have double the fans. Double the size of the club. It's the whole thing. You know what I mean? Big investment. They know. If that money now gets pumped in, new stadium, is Juve competing? Yeah. With the team they have? Yeah. Who? Locatelli? No. Okay. Ooh, Ar Arthur? <laughs> Ar 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 okay, okay, no, no. That, that's a good point. You bring up a good point. Is Pogba the answer? Is Pogba back is the, that, answer? Is not the answer? Bro, please, oh bro. Gosh, it's not the answer. Please, bro. You seen the video of him when, he, when they were comparing like I don't know who it was schools or something. Oh, he had an training? injury, the training yeah. game, and he's just dancing like he's not that. Guy. He's not that guy. <laughs> he's, he's that guy, but like that, that, not that, anymore. That's his favorite bro. player, that's Pogba. That's your yeah. favorite guy, yeah. bro. That's like going back to your ex because of their memories. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Okay, man. but hold on. Then would you say Ronaldo did the same thing? Yeah. Mm, true. <laughs> that's the goat. That's the goat right but, there. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think who, who like. Even if we look at the teams right now, we go like player per player. Milan has a better squad. So I'm looking right here, now. actually. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I'm looking here. I, I, the only the only standout players from Milan, in my point of view, are Leao, uh, Tonali, Manon, Kalulu. Yeah, she have a lot. Tomori, Tomori. Yeah. Hernandez. 
Hey, oh yeah. hey, you're rocking hey, the jersey, bro. You're right, you're right, you're Come right. Come on. But the most, expensive, the most expensive player here right now in the transfer market well. is Leao, Leao, 55 million. And a lot of rumors he's leaving, so... Uh, he's not, he's not going to go, he's not going to go. He knows no? no? No, no, because now players are starting to see... $150 million Never. coming your way. You're, no. taking, you're not what? taking, you're not taking no. 150 mil. No. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you guys might get him if he leaves. Guys, listen. Ooh. To be a yeah, big man. club, big players want to have to stay and play for you. Yes or no? Yeah, 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 for sure. Who's who? Like, if Milan sells Leao, in my opinion, they start to look like like a fucking Benfica, like a team that like Dortmund. Like, who can bring, Dortmund? Those aren't big clubs who sell Jeez. their best players. Feeder clubs. They're feeder clubs. Yeah, which is listen, that's a business on its own, and I can mm-hmm. respect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as a fan, you want your club to want to retain the exactly. big names, yeah, exactly. the guys who are on fire, and you want to be able to convince them to stay. Yeah, that's it. And and I'm dude, I'm so surprised you guys. Convinced Vlo- uh, Vlaovic to come. Big team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think you just scooped him in the middle of his season with with, with with Fiorentina. You got the quick little scoop. And then, dude, now he's like, wh- he's probably thinking, why the fuck did I come here? I have a leg. You're playing a leg ball. What What even is that? Yeah, he should have gone to Milan. I was no. saying this to him when everything was happening. I'm like, dude, Vlaovic is going to make That would have been nice. He should have went to Milan. He can, he can be like. They need a proper striker. They need a proper striker. Replace Ibra, Giroud, whatever. I'm just surprised you went. I I'm not surprised Pogba goes back. Like, okay, see, that's my point. Is like, look at the two players. You okay, Di Maria and Pogba. We're not even gonna get Di Maria. Di might not even come. Might go to Barca. He wants only a one year, so he's, you just want oh, him one year. Gee. So you guys can't even get an aging Di Maria. <laughs> like, see what I'm trying to say? Jeez. The players that's are not crazy. wanting to go there anymore. <laughs> Ronaldo was like that last ditch effort of keeping the brand alive. The Damn, brand's, the brand's dying. <laughs> brand's over, bro. They actually said no to Di Maria because they don't want to give him one year. Oh yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that's sure. it, eh? Yeah. Do you think Pogba's the answer though? No, he needs a team around him. He can't just do it. Like you see at United, he can't. He's not that guy that's gonna carry your team. If he has a good squad around him, he's gonna perform to the best and raise your squad. I heard the ten is waiting for him in the locker. Yeah, room. he gets a ten if he comes. That's crazy. Hey, man. Hey, that was the number when he left. Yo, when's the Pogmentary coming out, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's when he's doing his uh, announcement, right? Yeah. For who he signs. Guy thinks he's Braun. But who? Right? But but well, what has he actually done? Even at Man U. Nothing. Like, no, that makes nothing you anymore. excited. Like, nothing. 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 And that's yeah. what I've, we've been saying to him every time. Bro. Yeah, I know he's done. What nothing. was the What was the debate we had? If would he you has rather freedom? Or? Well, would you rather take? Oh, was it, would you rather take Pedri or Pogba? Oh, yeah. this guy wants Pogba. Yeah, that's my guy, though. Come on, bro. Yeah, but that's oh, that. Not now we're talking bias. If we're talking bias. Yeah, I'm super biased. I'm gonna say AC Milan's the biggest club of all time, even though we know that's not true. <laughs> Is Juve even in the top five biggest clubs of all time? No. No. You're basically just no, on CL, no. 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 Everything. They're not, not in everything. my top five. No, my top five, I have AC Milan in my top five. Yeah, damn. Gonna, what, do you guys have Juve, anybody else? No. Juve, no. I, yeah. Come on, man. I, I don't. I just they don't even crack my top ten. I have Juve like six or seven. So how are you going to sit here and say they're the biggest club in, in Italy, but in not Italy. but but they're not the biggest club worldwide? Just, come on, bro. That's crazy. You know what I mean? It's different. It's crazy, Why is it different, man? It's crazy. You guys only have 19 in, in Italy. Even our B team, like our, like we split the city in half, and they can still beat you guys. What? Like they still. <laughs> <into it. laughs> you guys last year too. <laughs> well, listen, let's talk this year. That was good. That was good. B team. <laughs> They're our B team, so it's like, I get it. I understand all the Juventino. You guys had your your reign, but if I was in your shoes, I just wouldn't be that proud about the nine in a row off of like in a league that at that time I would even say was a farmers league. Like they were it bad, was. dude. Who? Who who they compete against? Napoli, the league, like definitely. Napoli was their closest Lazio. rival. That's fine. Oh, Lazio, 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 Lazio. See what That's I'm saying? Bad. And the, then the thing is, Juve will be back up top. When? When? Very soon. Because they never soon. they never take long to, to get back. Under Allegri, though? I'm telling you, man. I don't think so. They came from Serie B and they were back up. <laughs> <laughs> they they came Buffon, from the Serie B. They came back then? up quick. Come on. They had World Cup winners on the team. Yeah. That's what I heard. I'm not gonna say. Okay, okay, but. We're talking about players. Yeah. Leal just won Serie A player of the season. Yeah. Chiesa is Italy's best player. There who's better between the two? Ooh. I mean, right now? Leal. Leal. Ooh. No, who's but a better player? If, if, if I, healthy, you know. Overall. If yeah. I had to match. If both are healthy. Pri- like, Chiesa when he was playing for Italy and then Leal playing at the end of the season for Milan, I'd take Chiesa. Why? S- because he literally, he, 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 how do I explain this? He, he pushed Italy to that final. Easily, he's the he's the. If you he take him player. out of that 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 team, they don't make that final. I could agree with that. 
I could agree with, with just that though. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, but it. I'm talking about just that that case. That's just it. that fine. Yeah, but that that's the problem, right? It's like we we can't just talk about just like I'm not gonna be like oh just Leao in the last four games of the season. Like I'm gonna say overall right now Leao is a brighter star, and that that pains me to say because obviously like I want young Italian players to be good, yeah. but we got to be honest with ourselves here. No, but you saw Leao, bro. Come on, I saw him. Untouchable. Oh, they were triple teaming I've Leao. Seen Keza, triple man. teaming. I have seen Chiesa, but injured, does he come back? Does he do the same thing? Yeah, that's the only problem. I don't know. See, right now, I have no doubt. Like, right, right, right now, they're offering us 150 mil, apparently. Madrid. <laughs> Did Madrid ever offer anything for Chiesa? No. But last time, we had like 110 from Bayern or something like that. Bayern? Bro, Bayern don't be Bayern spending don't spend money. Bayern don't spend money. Bayern offered from Bayern. Wait, Bayern offered 110 for, for Chiesa. That's cap. Where are these sources, bro? That was Chelsea. Do we got a camera cap? No, it was Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. <laughs> Sure, that's not manager mode? That was Chelsea. That was Chelsea. That was Chelsea. Not Bayern. So, bigger layout, bigger. Obviously, you know, we're on a high. We're on a high, so I'll take it. Bigger club, AC Milan. Bigger player, layout. Toe-to-toe right now, Milan a better club. I don't think you can argue it. Not right now, yeah. And I think, I, think we ha- I think we are, right now, we have potentially Italy's next generational player i would say and that is a hot take right now okay. it's, it's a hot take right now it's a hot take i, I know ha- it's a hot take i like it but i have someone else for That's our, not a our, light our generational player okay i have uh bastioni as mine i think he's gonna defender. be the best the best center back top five center back in the world hmm. he's i think he's gonna he's gonna be the next chiellini if not better he's the best center back his age though he couldn't yeah. st- he couldn't st- on the ball i don't see any center back that's as good as him on the ball how old is he I don't know how 20, old. 21, 22. Is he a true center back? He's, he's, Isn't well, he more of a left back? He could back? play both. He could play, he could play as a, a third center back on the side, and he could also play as... He played as a second center back against... Uh, was it against Germany he played? I believe so. Clearly, he wasn't good enough to start, though, for against Argentina. Yeah, but that was his, that was Chiellini's send-off game. That was his last game. They're not going to not play Chiellini. Weren't Italy kind of playing like their B team, like, a little bit? <laughs> Italy, listen, listen. <laughs> Guys, come on. Come on, come on. Let's be fair. <laughs> let's, let's be fair here, okay? Come on. We know. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do what the classic Italian guy does. We got four. We got four. We'll stick to yeah. it. No? Yeah, yeah. Four, two euros. Got five, bro. You got five, whatever. You guys won. One of yours was in the most rigged World Cup of all time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We know. We know that. Bro, what? Maybe, for, maybe that. for Korea. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. What does that have to do with Brazil? Well, because they, they knocked out three of the, the like, probably the best, biggest the best com- competition. Comp- I can't even talk to it. Yeah, Brazil beat <laughs> Germany in the final. England in the quarters. Yeah, they were they with were, Ronaldinho they, being red carded. You tell me that Italy team wouldn't have given no problem. Brazil? Yeah, no, no, bro. That was a oh, great, I don't know, bro. Great Brazil team. Yeah, I know it was a good Brazil. That was their prime Brazil team. I know. But that was prime Italy too, though. You wouldn't say. You wouldn't mm, say. Maybe yeah. that team went to go win the World yeah. Cup. The next one. Did, did 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 we give you guys a World Cup? Was he paid? Damn. Damn. Here, Here we go. go. Was Bajo ah, paid off? Him, Here, Here we go. No. You don't know that. He, he can't stand up to the pressure. Yeah, I couldn't handle the pressure. Hundred K? Hundred K in Pasadena, California. He couldn't handle it. Hey, <laughs> 40 door. degrees, bro. Come Come on, man. Man. Hold on, hold on. What, and, and which which one did Brazil lose that's apparently was apparently fixed? 98? 98? Yeah. yeah. R9 out with uh what? Seizures? Why is that a, a, like a thing that can happen? Randomly out, out of nowhere? What? That's his, how seizures work. His first seizure ever. That's how happens to be work. the World Cup final. Yeah. yeah that happened. How can yeah. that happen? happen? Never happened to me. <laughs> you never been there. You've been to a World Cup final? <laughs> been to a couple. You know, you know you can get so so anxious that like it could put you into a seizure. This guy nah, was the best player in the world. It doesn't matter. Ethan, like, oh, you think he was getting nervous. Bajo was also the bro, best player in the world. He was the point. player of the tournament. What was he nervous about? Bro, hey, he scored a brace happened. against Oliver Kahn in the 0-2 final. It happens, though. And you're telling me this guy'd be nervous. You, you think he has no <laughs> nerves at all? No. Bro. Okay. okay, so are you guys saying overall Brazil... Bigger footy nation than Italy? Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm asking. I'm just, on, hey, I'm just asking. Bro. Just yeah, hundred percent. Italy's third. Who's second? Germany. Deutschland, Germany? bro. Yes. <sighs> okay. Why? More finals, more semifinals. I think they might have more Ballon d'Or winners, and just they've been consistent like throughout all of history. Mm-hmm. Okay, so are okay, so are you saying? Less trophies, but more consistency. They have the same amount of trophies. Big, oh, fuck, you're right. Four. Oh. How many euros do they have, do you know? I think like three. Two All right. or three. Okay, bigger bigger footballers out of Germany than Italy? 
It's, I think it's comparable. You have one of the best scorers of all time, Gerd Muller, one of the best center backs, Beckenbauer. So do we, though. Yeah, best that's goalie, true. Neuer, too. Best I mean, goalie, boy, Neuer, Kahn. It's very, it's very close. I, I mean, think, no, it's close, but I think Germany edges, like, second. Slightly, slightly. Yeah, I, I read last time that I think Germany just edges it, but... Well, what, okay, but what about, what, about league, what about league play? Like, does that not matter? No, I don't think it matters. Are you talking about the national well, team? Yeah, if, if you're talking, if about, you're talking about that Brazilian league, league. No, then Brazil no, no. wouldn't be one. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't, I didn't say better national team. I said bigger football nation altogether. So what? Now, now, now the now the the leagues just don't matter. Of course they matter. And uh, bro, you cannot compare the German league. No, come on, come on. To Serie Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you were just. I talking, could give it a one-two comparison. You're just saying no, how you were were, were uh, going through the no, city. No, like all nothing. time, it's no, not no, even no. close. There was a there was a, a, <laughs> a, a nine-year gap of just bad money management, like in between uh, however many years the city has been running over a hundred years. I'm just saying, to me, the league still matters, and if if you count that, it, Italy might Italy might be a bigger. I am making. Finals. Just, just one, one team. Though. At the end of the day, but Bayern take from other teams anyway. So it's also, basically just Germany. Bayern might be bigger than any Italian club. It might be, but if you put the leagues into perspective, it's not even close. All Come time, on. no. The, the CDO was, was the biggest no, no. league in, at one point. Late 90s. Bundesliga has never been the biggest league. You no, think? That's true. Maybe. Maybe 70s. Maybe. Prove it. Foosball. Bayern won three <laughs> Champions Leagues in a row, I think. So. He's have Juve so ever won three one, Champions Leagues? One Juve have only two Champions Leagues. I know, but that's one team, though, as we said. Borussia Mönchengladbach have two. Dortmund have one. Okay. She, she that adds up. Has Hamburger seven. SV has two. We got two. seven. Yeah, Hamburger seven. SV has two. Okay. That's a lot. What years? What years were those? Like 80s. So. You guys heard well, it adds now. up. It adds up. Listen. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Biggest league right now. Premier League, Premier League, right? Okay, yeah. okay, we're all on the same page that way. Yeah. Second, Spain. It might be Spain. Uh, it might be bro. Spain. Okay, hold but, on. Hold okay, on. only what, for Madrid. Uh, let me what, tell you why. What? Well, yeah. Okay. This guy was making a fool out of Valencia. Sorry, Valencia. Villarreal, Villarreal, saying how La Liga is only. A I said three. it after they they knocked you out, though. Bro, they went and they beat thing. Yeah. Bayern. Yeah. Okay, but one, year, one year. One year. One year. You were saying it was a They're three. You saying it was a three league team. It is. I don't know. You're all finished. What's eight. that? What's that like that. Spanish team stat? Like ten finals or whatever. You oh. know what I'm talking about, no? Which one? Oh yes. Oh, <sighs> but I'm not talking about Europa League though. That's the thing. I'm talking about La Liga. Who wins besides Atletico, Real, Barca? Who wins? I don't know. I've like, never heard I, of another team winning like, winning the re- league. Recent, like recent. Valencia probably like early 2000s. Yeah, like yeah. a while ago, obviously. Yeah. But right now it's a three team league. I haven't heard someone win since. Okay, you could say huh? you could say Premier League's a two team league. They are. So? Um, yeah, so you yo, I got you the made stat. it a bad thing. So since two thousand one, Spanish sides have faced non Spanish sides seventeen times in European finals. Spanish sides won all seventeen. Jeez. What does that say about Spanish teams, bro? Ooh, good in, uh, finals. Hold on, European finals, so that's not that's not just UCL, that's Europa Europa, Europa. Com- Conference now, whatever. <laughs> Let's not even talk about that. Come on, bro. I, I have some Mickey Mouse like that. trophy. Come on. Yeah, that's a that's a straight Mickey Mouse trophy. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, so you guys are all Barca fans. I'm ask. taking La Liga second because look how many times look how champion. Your just second cha- best team was just in the Europa League. Look at who's winning the Champions League. Yeah, one team. Okay. Look. Same thing with uh, with Juve. You could say in the dominance. Now saying, they're starting to do a little bit better. The CDI at that point wasn't the top two. So where are you putting Sedia then? You're uh, putting them second? I'll put them second. I would put them I would I'll put, put them, them second, second too. I'll put them second. Know. After last year or Inter won, the the years before that, what was it? What? After year after Inter won last year. Yeah. Who was winning before? the ones? Yeah. Yeah, but that's not what it is now. When was the last time an Italian team won UCL or Europa League? Twenty ten. How many years ago was that? <laughs> I said twenty ten. That's bro. crazy. What grade were we in? I was like grade five. <laughs> Yeah, we're like. No, was grade bro. five. In 2010, yeah. That's wild. That's bro. crazy. 2010. <laughs> okay, okay. Spanish league second, La Liga second. I'm taking La Liga second. You're third? taking Serie A second. Okay, well, I want to hear the third though. I want to hear what you who you say third. German. Damn. I German. Know. I think I have Serie A. I third, have Serie A third. Let's be real. So Who's like a fourth league of fifth? Okay, but do you guys see a resurgence now in the Serie A? Yeah, 100. No? Yeah. 
Because the past nine years, all you yeah. Did. This season now and a little bit last season, kind of, you could see like a bit of a change. Says who? Says the stats, the facts. <laughs> Says the I facts, mean, bro. Those, bro. <laughs> bro. No, no, hold on, hold on. Are are they at the beginning? Are they at the beginning? Yeah, we're seeing a beginning of something. Yeah, yeah. Here, listen, I'm not saying oh, they're there already. How long will it last? That's the thing. That's a good question. That's a good right. question. It's important. I see it going on the rise. I think it all. Obviously, we know football right now is all about money. It just is what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Majority of the time, the best teams have the most money. Mm-hmm. So you're starting to see some investment in the Italian league. Said, yeah. Why are they going there? Because they're like, fuck, this is a massive football nation. And so we better pour some money in there. <laughs> and you're seeing it now. <sighs> yeah. Slowly. No, come Slowly. on. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Listen, bro. Wait they're, like, the they're, like, they're, like, they're like two days into, the, into confirming <laughs> the deal. Yeah, these guys, get, I don't even want Joe David. Speaking of Joe David in Canada. Are we going to go there? Dude, yeah. might as well get or, in there. Can somebody give me... Okay, do you guys know the exact... Like, I, I read, like, an Osorio snippet. He did a little interview or something. Um, but okay. what exactly so let's do see they want? Here. Yeah. Okay, briefly, what they want is... So, um, by qualifying for the World Cup, there was bonus money, right? Mm-hmm. For, for Canada soccer. Yeah. Okay. And the men's players want 40% of that bonus money. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they they wrote a big note. They're like, oh, um, we want to provide like a stepping stone for the next generation. Um, like, and also another thing, Canada soccer, like for the World Cup in Qatar, the t- the players' families mm-hmm. have to pay for their flights and accommodations. Not all yeah. of them, though. Aren't they providing just no, two they're tickets? Pr- no, they're providing two tickets, yeah. but they have to pay for flights yeah. and accommodation. And yeah. so the Canada players want 40% for them, 40% for the women, and then the Compre- association yeah. gets 20%. Wait, 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 what do you mean 40% for the women? Like, like so as, as part of their, their money, like bargaining deal? Like the budget of the CSA? Canadian yeah. Soccer association. They want 40% to go to the men, 40% to go to the women for like equal pay, and then 20% to the association. And then the Canada soccer president is like, we can't do that. Um, even if we didn't qualify for the World Cup, we would have no money. That's basically what the president said. But then they did qualify for the World Cup and they have this money now. So why can't they give it to them? That's basically okay, what they're okay, saying. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they don't want 40% of like their overall like revenue budget, just of the bonus money. For that, making the World Cup. Yeah. And, but they also want another 40% of it to go to Women. the women's yeah. players. Yeah. That's interesting. I think like, it's fair. So yeah, essentially. Women's players though? Yeah, why? Not? why? <laughs> No, I'm just saying why. <laughs> no, like why? Like why? Well, yeah. Okay, okay. The forty percent. No, yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's just yeah, basically. And, and for those that don't know, yeah. So the Canada players are refusing to play right now. Yeah. Um, Even training. Refusing to train, kind of. I know. I think they're training tonight, but yeah. Supposedly, just came out that they're gonna be training. Um, is is, yeah. is 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 the coach on board with this? Do like do, do they know or do we know th- or no? There's no for sure, but yeah, I'd assume he released a statement. I'd assume he is, but he hasn't released a statement. I just I just looked at the situation. First of all, I had them as the last leg of a parlay, so that pissed me off. <laughs> First thing, but the other side of it was like to me, it's like disres- Like I almost see it as like a disrespect thing. And you yeah. have fans who like, I don't know about you guys, I'm fucking amped when Canada. Oh plays. yeah, oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Dude, I'm sitting around ready to watch it. People that bought tickets, kids that 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 are fans. I'm sure people travel to Vancouver. Like it's be- yeah. you know it's pick- soccer's picking up in Canada. Like you, so you have this. Almost right in my eyes to like that to to the fans to play, mm-hmm. like get the job done. The 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 fucking World Cups in November, no? You're supposed yeah. to be getting ready for that training. And didn't they make this announcement like what a few hours before they're supposed to that's play? That's what yeah. I'm like, saying. How wild is that? Th- that's my point. Is like I saw pictures of people like outside the stadium with their Canada. Like to me, it's like I get it. I whatever. Like I mean, I don't even have to necessarily agree with what they're fighting for, but like in my eyes, like. I, like, I don't know. Have you guys ever seen another major nation do that before? Major nation? No. Is no. Canada a major nation? No, no, no. no. But, but if you want to be one, you, out, yeah. you have to act like one. Yeah. And, we have, and, and, and here we are, Canadians running around saying, yo, like we're, we're becoming a, a, a footy nation, like this and that. And then we have our team yeah. first for some like, whatever, my opinion, some fucking liberal like bullshit 
where we don't play Iran. Like, what do the what what do the soccer players of Iran have to do with any political things? But whatever, fine, they cancel yeah, that game. Yeah. From from my understanding, it was a reporter that like asked Trudeau why why uh, and then he started to and uh, then he like did this whole thing and then got the game canceled. Moved the books, yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Then 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 you have this. Then you have like a game. People are hyped to see it. The whole thing, the whole nine yards. We're trying to grow as a soccer nation, as a as a football nation, mm -hmm. and we're canceling, you know, canceling for us important games hours before, not training, mm -hmm. refusing to yeah. train. And listen, like I actually like, you know, I know some of the guys on the squad. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't rate that. It, me personally, who who do you think is like <laughs> this is cheap. who orchestrated it? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Uh, who like, do you think's in the change? Like, yo, some, we need some more money. Like, like, who's no, doing like, that? Like, okay. obviously, like they're working as a unit, but like it's definitely not like the, Davies or like Joe David. They have money already. It's like. Like, like, who do you think's like, uh, who's leading this kind of operation, you think? Who's oh. leading the revolt? I, don't know. I know who yeah. you're thinking. <laughs> the problem is I have friends there. I know, I know. So it's like conflict tough for me interest. to say. It's conflict <laughs> of interest. I, I don't know if I'll necessarily say who. Um, do you think it's a, a majority of the guys that are, like, agree with this? Or, like, I a couple know. of guys that are getting the group, like, to come Rally together? Yeah. Like, the others, like, kind of have to go with it. You know what I mean? This is, it, this is what I'll say. I just think politics and sports, and I think we've had this conversation with other sports, and I won't even get into that, but keep politics and sports separate. Separate, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you want to use your platform outside of it, but like, yeah, in, in my eyes, you, you like, I don't know. In, in my eyes, like, just being called to play for Canada is such, like, a special... It's an honor. Yeah. It's an honor, like, to, to even not want to train. And, like, I know guys, I know guys personally who have... Just gotten up, call, gotten called up for training camps, and would yeah. lose a, a fucking hand to get that call up again, Every, yeah, just exactly. to train. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. How much money are we talking? Do do we know the figures? No, okay. I, I don't think so. Like the president's being shady about the figures. I don't think he's released them. I don't think they'd want to release. Yeah. The, the well, okay, which is right? which is not okay. Like which is not cool. But again, I don't know if that's proper. Like, what's the soccer etiquette? Do all. Like, you know, does Italy know how much money they make when they go to the, like, do they know? Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. Like, is that a common thing is what I'm saying? What they're asking for? I don't know. Because whether you're for the players or not, like, the people running Canada soccer, like, are just goofs. Because in, in 2018, they essentially signed Canada soccer away to this company called Canada Soccer Business. Okay. They signed, like, their whole, um, like, broadcasting rights, revenue mm -hmm. rights on, like, an eight-year deal. Ooh. What year was this? 2018. Because oh, shit. yeah, okay. because the 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 federation was like at its lowest point, right? For mm. the men's, right? So Who's signing that whole thing away fucked up Canada soccer of for course. now well, hold for on. the future. But Who would have thought that we would be doing this good though? Exactly. Well, they no, would have thought. thought. Is, are they doing this good in part to signing that deal? Exactly. Like you also got to give a little to get some, too. Right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't know, I, just from what I'm hearing, like yeah. they signed this deal in 2018, when did they start playing well? Like a year ago, like twenty nineteen. Yeah, nineteen ish. Yeah, they started to pull it up. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. They, so they started to bring it up. So like that's the way business works, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, man, I don't know. Like, I I just I just think of the honor it is to play for your country, mm -hmm. friendly train for your country. Just get that call up, like, and 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 for the for the players to to, you know, not do that. I think oh, it's it's tough. I I know. Like I get I get the whole money thing, but I don't, I don't know. know. I and just. Then, just keep it off the field. Yeah, you know I what agree. I mean. Like, okay, if you want to do this protesting, go play the game. Yeah. After that, do your thing, whatever. But yeah. Imagine like, even like the, the Panamanians. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, bro, they don't have money to yeah. pay for this. Yeah. Who pay for their flight? Yeah. yeah. Well, what's so stupid about this? They're losing even more money by not playing the Iran exactly. game and not yeah. playing the Panama game. They're, They're losing, losing all money. this money. So much money. And they look horrible because all these Panamanians come here. The whole team, like, who pays for those Lawsuits flights? Lawsuits are probably going to come up. Who pays for those flights? Who pays for those, like, it's all just a mess now. Well, is FIFA is FIFA going to be cool with Canada? Supposedly, just they were saying, like, I, was, I was reading something yesterday that if this still goes on and they don't want to play any more games, like, FIFA can get involved and something, like, can happen. Well, I, I mean, sure. <laughs> they're just they're refusing to play. It's insane. Yeah. But again, that, the reason, and I also ask, like, if the coaches, I wonder if the, if if Herdman's, like, in on it or what his thoughts are. No, I'd love to hear his thoughts. This is where I feel like oh, I, I, this is what I hate. This is what I hate about Canada in general. But it's so so much so much politics. There's so much mm -hmm. like I, the last thing I thought was like this like 
woke like I feel like this like woke uh-huh. shit was gonna get into Canadian to football, soccer, right? right? I don't know everything. It's nuts, football, bro. like I never would have. U.S. Dude, it happened in the U.S. already. Well, but did it though? Like, do you, do you see the men? Are the men's is the men's team like advocating for the women's team to make more money? No. Maybe a press conference here and there, but bro, they're just getting their shit done because yeah. mm-hmm. they want to be looked at as a respectable mm-hmm. footy country, mm-hmm. football country. No, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm not happy about it. No, I, I agree with you. I think these players are are turning into little brats after yeah. one year. Bro, getting a little, little big headed. Man, like, after one year, you make your first World Cup after one like yeah. after how long you make your first World Cup? Don't you just feel proud to like rep Canada in the World Cup? You're going to the World yeah. Cup, money or no money. Like, bro, yeah. I like. Man, there's people who like dream to be in those positions right now. Right? You know what I mean? I'm saying, guys would l- swear cut a hand off just to train, mm-hmm. like, and 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 then like what like what does that say about us to other teams? Right? How are they looking? Like, you know what I mean? If if Belgium was already looking and being like, you know, Canada, whatever, yeah. easy. That's an easy dub for us in the exactly. in the group. What are they saying now? It's making us look like more of a joke, right? Yes, and, that's and, my point. And that's like another thing. I was talking to my friends yesterday. I'm like, okay, I would understand maybe they want this money here and there if we were a good team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro. If you're a top, like, if top we're a top side, team, right? you're a team that just made the World Cup. You're coming into a, a, a group stage. It's pretty hard. You, realistically, are you even going to get out of this group stage? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a big question. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and the act like this is. I'm surprised that I'm not. <laughs> like, is what yeah, I should yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'm surprised because I would have never imagined and knowing some of those guys personally, like I would have just never. And I, and the thing is, that's the problem. You don't know. Like, is it two guys? Is it five guys? Is it yeah. the whole team? Like, mm, who knows? It's tough. It's tough to say. If if I'm if I'm Herdman and I'm not like, if I'm the coach and I'm not like down for that, like I'm not I'm not on mm-hmm. that side, then I'm I'm calling up different guys. Would you, would you guys do the same? Yeah, it's it's just a tough situation. Like. In general, it just looks so bad for Canada. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the uh, the devil's advocate is like you obviously don't. We don't know the conversations that mm-hmm. have gone on. Yeah, you don't know maybe where promises were made or things were said and then they didn't pan yeah. out. So I see it, but I, I think from an overall perspective, people for at the end of the day, we're not going to get like the big story on really yeah. what happened. We're not going to get the inside scoop. So for face value, it makes us look very bad. Yeah, I guess for them, the one thing you also think is uh, you might as well get the bag when you can, type of thing, right? Oh. For for players are wise, maybe, I, obviously I wouldn't do it, but like just like in that situation as a player, I might as maybe, well get the bag. Are they maybe like too comfortable right now? They're they're, they're so comfortable that they think that they can. They do, think that they're gonna make every World Cup now because now that they, they made this World Cup, so they're going to that World Cup, and they also make the next World Cup without having to do anything. Yeah. So now they're True. like, we deserve this money. We we have we're going to the next two World Cups. If I'm the Canada president, I'm like, bro, you're a one year in. Who the do you think you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking child right now, yeah. man. True. No, no I, I agree. I yeah. understand this happens to a team like Spain or Italy. You know, these players want more money. Okay. Yeah. From your history. Fair enough. From right? your history, Italy. fair enough. No, I'm just saying big teams. Fair enough. Okay. You know, you kind of deserve it. You brought a lot to us. Yeah. yeah. You haven't done shit. The thing yeah. is, too, is there enough money in that budget to provide for There's that? There's not. Like, like, like the would mess everything up too. Know. Is there enough and revenue? And that's the problem with how things are being run. How do you qualify for the World Cup and you're broke? No. Who would yeah, have thought crazy. we were yeah, made the World Cup? It's crazy. It's 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 sad to say, but like the president was saying, like he has a lot of other other teams to pay for. U eighteen, U twenty, all these different leagues, clubs, everything around Grass Canada, groups, everything, bro. right? Yeah, you know, other other nations have that same issue, like Spain. You know, they might have to pay for all these grassroots teams, but they already have money to feed yeah, in. Long, you don't have long standing history of making it to the World Cup, yeah. Euro, exactly. Doing well, winning. That's what it comes from. You know, that's how you get your money. Selling out stadiums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And they're not gonna. And they're not making the revenue from the stadium. Yeah. They cancel the games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It seems counterproductive exactly. to me. I don't know. It doesn't make mean. sense. You want money, but you're losing money. I don't know. I I I'd, uh, I'd be interested to see like a statement from the coach. Yeah. First of mm-hmm. all, like bro, someone come out and say something. Even a statement from actual like a player. Yeah. Somebody. Well, I mean, Osorio did like a short. He did like a. Sh- I read it. It was like mm-hmm. it was like a paragraph. Like, what did he say? I didn't see that. He he mentioned the he just like about like them wanting to be respected and then he mentioned the uh yeah I don't don't get me yeah. started that and I love I love Osorio by the way great guy <laughs> that and then like so, uh, something about the accommodations mm-hmm. like, like what you were saying I guess the maybe they want more that's friends and family thing. allowed that's messed up too though because okay. I th- you guys you were saying two they get two yeah each two person tickets. yeah but, so like if they have like a brother or a sister yeah. or, or like a kid. 
Like, st- how many tickets are you gonna give them? But the Four? thing is, apparently, like other like top like nations, big size, they give like the player like eight tickets extra or like ten tickets. Yeah, these are top. Co- you're saying you you said it. Top yeah, teams, top sides. top sides. Yeah, man, imagine every player got. Let's say I was talking to my friends yesterday. Every player gets out four tickets. All accommodations paid for, flight, hotel, food, everything. Adds up. We were going through the numbers, bro. It adds up. Every player was a 23-team roster. Mm. Four, four tickets for each one of them. And then staff as staff well, too, bro. Staff has to go. Adds Coaches up. have to go. Bro, we were looking at it. It's like, man, it could be going up to like a quarter of a mil. Oh, sorry. Um, 2500000 million, like around there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a lot of money. I, I, I just, uh, I, I think you made a good point about them... Like just getting ahead of themselves a little bit, um, I think that yeah, you got to look and say like here. Okay, what what I think people liked about Canada during this little run was like that we were this underdog team, gritty, <clears throat> sort of like get on the field, mm-hmm. get the fucking job done, like how, whatever it took type of thing. Mm-hmm. And then this action seems the opposite of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's also what I think. It, it's 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 almost like a one eighty. Like yeah. you were, we had this, we had this brand going essentially, the storyline, you know, mm. which is like amazing. You want to go into the World Cup mm-hmm. with like one of those storylines, you know what I mean? Yeah, like was, new country, uh, gritty, gain the job, then whatever it takes, like, like it just it's like they were like one of us, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. you see yeah. the passion like in these sides too, man. Like how they're playing, like yeah, like you see Vaughn Soccer Club products on the field. It's like it's one of us, mm-hmm. yeah. right? No, um, and then and then, yeah, you, I, I get that for Canada making a World Cup is a big thing. But like again, if if you want to be known as a as a nation who is or you know a, a nation that that uh, we're building on our football mm-hmm. talent here and that whole thing, but if you if you want to continue to grow that, like it's that's not in my eyes not the way to do. It's it. not the right way to start. Yeah, which is why, like I said, I hope that someone comes out, like the coach in my eyes, come out and say something. Yeah. But Just to even know where he's at, even if he agrees with them, but at least we know. But like, but. Maybe that's why he didn't come out, though. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't agree with them. Maybe. And for him to come out and make a statement would be pretty counterproductive. Because, at, yeah, at the end of the day, like, you would expect the coach to say something already no, that, at this dude, point. That's what I've been he the, should have been the first one to say something. The big, My biggest surprise was that. Like, the biggest surprise was that, like, the the, it, the news got dropped from, like, random news stations. Did mm-hmm. Canada Soccer make a, a statement? What was it, an Instagram post, a tweet? Yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. What kind of respect is that to the fans? Right. People forget it's the fans, bro. Yeah. You have no fans. You have no team. About, bro. So you play for the fans, man. Well, uh, I mean, nowadays it's nah, clearly money. Yeah. <laughs> but that that used to be different. It used to be different. And I get the whole get your bag thing, but like, I don't know. Not a good look for Canada overall, in my eyes. Uh, yeah. Doesn't look good on the world stage. And, and and let's say Herdman like doesn't agree. Like all this work he's put in wasted. to build this brand, to yeah. build this team. It's all thanks to him. To recruit these guys that could have played for other nations. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And he's still doing that? Like that Kaleshio guy could easily play for US. Yeah. Herdman just recruited him to play for Canada. And this is his first camp, and look what's happening. Right? Jeez, like, what, like, what does that man. say to him, right? That's the thing. This is not, so, a, serious, so, this is not a serious nation. Yeah, yeah, so if Herdman doesn't like, agree, like, <laughs> all, all the work he's put in is just it's going down the drain. I'm curious. I, I wonder, someone, they got to say something. Like, somebody's got to say something. Someone's got to give the fans a... Some sort of yeah, update. We need to know they what's got, happening. They got, <laughs> they got Nations League games coming. My, up. my thing is too is like imagine like other teams like I don't know. You, you're like a, you're someone from Spain or like the Spain news. Like bro, what's happening in Canada, bro? These guys aren't even a big football country, and these <laughs> yeah. they're making these issues. Like bro, right? you're nothing right now. Yeah. Like who no, you are know, you? Know what the sad part is? They probably don't even know. That's that's the point. Yeah. Is that Canada on a world stage is not even at the point where Italy, Spain, they're not even going to talk about yeah. what happened in Canada. We're so like, uh, this is this is a bigger issue than Canada soccer. This is mm-hmm. Canada in general. Just so I feel like spoiled yeah. in a way, and I you know I hate to say that. It's true, but I think I think it was a, in my eyes, very very weird. And 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 regardless of the way, or regardless of the decision made, in my eyes, communicated properly. Yeah, yeah. not a couple it, hours before the match. You mm-hmm. have a right to the fans, and that, that's my just my opinion. Yeah, but you you don't you of know course. people agree, people don't, but you have a right to the fans. And I think that's just screwed. And, and someone's got to say something. Like, captain, the captain's got. The captain s- should say something. Someone's got to step up. Right. Like, somebody, no. Yeah, like you feel bad for the fans that took the trip to Vancouver, 
And I bet you there was so many of them. Man. Like, I saw this oh one tweet. Gosh. Like, a guy bought, like, eight tickets for both games. Jeez. Like, made a trip to Vancouver. And then, like, hasn't been even been refunded Who yet, refunds right? that? Exactly. So, like, Time off yeah. work. Just wasted. Yeah. Don't they know. don't care. They're getting their bag. Yeah. Not, right? not a good thing. <laughs> not a good thing for Canada soccer in my eyes. Doesn't put a good uh, impression. Give a good impression to the world. But we'll deal with it. Uh, see what happens. <sighs> Anyways, uh, to end things off, I want to have kind of one more cheeky debate. All right. We're talking about... Um, some bigger nations, right? <laughs> let's say Argentina. Let's say Portugal. <laughs> Where are you going we with have this? this debate all the time. <laughs> we just see, seen Messi win finalissima. He just scored five, five against Ronaldo's favorite opponent, Estonia. <laughs> you mean Luxembourg? That's and that's, that's CR's all-time tally against Estonia. <laughs> and Messi did it in one game. Pretty but nonetheless, geez. who's your GOAT? Damn. Yeah. Listen, I mean... <laughs> I have to go Ronaldo overall. Jeez. Why though? Because I think in this debate, legacy matters just as much. And so, because the the the, the classic debate is, oh, Messi is a is a is a more talented footballer, which I could agree with. But I think there's a lot to be said about Ronaldo's legacy. That that in my eyes puts him over the top. We're okay, like okay. Do, like, do you guys have them neck and neck, or like, do you have it messy have, by a mile? I have, I have them neck and neck. Messi's tops, though. You yeah. don't have them neck and neck. Nah, man. Messi I'm close. for sure better than Ronaldo. Jeez. For sure better than Ronaldo. What do you mean, like legacy in terms of what? His brand. I'll just say that, like his yeah. his brand is PR seven, man. Like, no, <laughs> come, come on, on, bro, come on. <laughs> I said brand. If we're talking about football. Let's talk about no, but brand? that's but no, but uh, your brand is a part of your legacy, of course. Yeah, it no, is. it is. Would, would yeah, agree? Michael right. Michael Jordan, Jordan brand, come part on. of his legacy. You'll remember you'll remember Jordan forever because of the Jordan brand. Yeah, I think CR seven, you'll have that same effect. I mean, they'll Messi, both be remembered eternally. Yes, regardless. Yes, yes, hundred percent. And then the other, the other, the, the, like the other classic debate, which I I happen to agree with from my opinion, the way I see life and everything is. In my eyes, I think Ronaldo had to work hard for it because he didn't have that natural talent. There's a lot more hard work, dedication to get to the point that he's at compared to what Messi did. But you don't think Messi worked hard either? No, no, I'm not saying of people course say he, this. Like, of course oh, Ronaldo, he worked hard. Like, such a hard work. Okay, but what about okay? What are your thoughts on what are your guys' thoughts on him never leaving Barca? And then when he did, clearly not much happened. Why would you? He's leave? on vacation, Messi. <laughs> bro. We said this. He's in Paris, bro. He just wants some baguettes. But, but why but, would you leave though? Why would he leave a team that's you know you, you wouldn't? So they've well. given everything to him. But but from a goat perspective, you guys don't think that it's important to go out and show you can do it in other leagues? Yeah, but if you're doing, Totti never left. Is he a goal? Not a goal. No. No? No. Ooh. 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, but Messi goal. has no. more goals against the top six in the Premier League than a lot of Premier League players Teams. do. Yeah. That's performing in another league technically. No, you no, 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 like no, that. no, 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 no. We can't, we can't go that route. How? <laughs> Maldini is, is uh, absolutely a goal. He stayed in Milan. He's a one-team player. Hey! Ah, it's a good take. Okay. No, no, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go for his position. Yes. Yeah. Go... Overall, no, like yeah, you can't okay. have that argument. Of course, I'm just saying, like it. One, I think that hinders, in my eyes, that hinders the argument. You got to go show you can do it elsewhere. And in UCL, it for me is not enough to say, oh, like he has the most goals against those guys. It's it's and and right now all the goal records, the most important ones, is Ronaldo not holding them? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to pull that up. Most UCL goals. He does. Mr. Yeah. Champions League, yeah, 100%. But he's also two years older than him, three years older. Okay, but... He's going to MLS next year. Yeah, exactly. MLS. Said, like, is that your goal, though? Is your goal going to the MLS? Because my goal's, still, my goal's still in Europe. Pumping <laughs> goals at his age. Finishing sixth place for United. <laughs> Look at that team. Fault, man. That Bro. Team That's not his fault. That's not his fault. Come on. How much more can Ronaldo do? He did his job. For what, 16 goals. goals this season? And, 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 and you make a good yeah. point. He is two years older, and... Performing better than Messi this year, on a team would you give, with no would you talent. Give Ronaldo, would you give Ronaldo this year to this Ronaldo? Year? Yeah, for yeah, sure. You have to. And and that's a team he's that's familiar with. The league he's familiar. But with. That's him going saying six okay. plays. He said he's not familiar with the team. He's familiar with with the league. Bro, he's the not. League. He's with not the fam- team. Yeah. Bro, he's not he's back to United. Not the team. Bro, he's not familiar with Maguire, bro. He used to play with Ramos, Varane at the prime. Now he's playing with Maguire. 
And Ramos so? washed. I mean, I've run washed. And then what's, what's the other argument? Ballon d'Ors? Like, was Messi's last Ballon d'Or really deserved? Copa America is the big... Uh, oh, what, the tournament that happens every other year? <laughs> every year? It's tough, you know what I mean? I always said this, that if Messi got a World Cup, we couldn't have the conversation. I have to Wait say Wait till Messi. this year. Listen, I know there's there, there. there's some people think, but it's it's going to be nothing. And then when he really when he goes to MLS, that's that's when I think the argument is finished. He's going to go there. I mean, he, actually, he's doing a good thing for his brand, buying into buying mm-hmm. into Miami or their piece of them. But I, I I look and I say from a from a statistics and trophy standpoint, they're very close. Like it's it's neck and neck. And for me, what puts it over is the brand. I do remember the one of your big um, big points about Ronaldo was that he's like Mr. Champions League. He carried Real Madrid, but we just saw the past weekend the same Real Madrid team won without him. I did see that. Yeah, I know you did. I I did see that. (laughs) I did see that. I said on the pod last week that that comes down to a good Madrid team in general. Exactly. He had the players. Okay, so hold on. Are you guys saying that if Messi... If Messi, like, let's talk prime MSN year, Xavi, and so like, proper team. One of the best, arguably one of the best teams ever. Yeah. Of all time. 100%. You're telling me if Messi le- leaves that team, they're not winning a UCL at no, all? they win. That's why I said last on, I asked bro. that last week. He said they, know, they don't win. It's iffy. Come on. They win. It's iffy, man. It's that no, team is disgusting. I don't think they win. I don't know. Because you're dissing Neymar. You're saying he, even on, even on potentially the world's best team ever, he still couldn't get <laughs> That's what I was saying. You, you swap Messi for Pedro because Pedro was their, 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 Fourth stringer. No. They don't win a you UCL. Said Pedro was good. Come on, bro. No. That's prime I think I think they're competing, 100%. They, they yeah, probably get one. They can probably, they can get, probably, get, they probably get one. Get, they probably get one. Get one. Yeah, At least they get one. At least they get one. So you go, there you go. Madrid just did the same thing. They win and got it without I it. disagree, though. I think they wouldn't win it without Messi. Well, so that's... Juve would have beat them in the final. Possibly, Maybe. yeah. No. Come uh, on. Maybe. Bro. I saw no, Dani Alves take down Pogba. I saw it. <laughs> I did see that too, but I too. no, I think I think I think one hundred percent Barca wins a Champions League even without Messi in those years. Come know. on, it'd be tough. That man. was prime Suarez too, man. Prime Suarez, prime Neymar, it'd prime Neymar, tough, man. Xavi Iniesta, guys, look at the players we're talking Busquets. about here. Busquets, PK. Was Puyol on that team still? No, he was gone. Uh, Come a on, a year, for a year, yeah, or something. We'll yeah. never know. But yeah. you can't use that Ronaldo thing anymore. That argument because. He, clearly, his team was dominant. Yeah, they, they didn't need him. So he was just how a many pa- years? Was it, hold on, how many what? years later though, since he left? Like two, three, four? No, four. four. <laughs> four. <laughs> two, three, four. Okay, four, two, four. Four. Three, That's a four. Decent, four. <laughs> four is a decent cycle. Yeah, but they've been to what, like two semifinals, and then they won a final they between though. those years. Yeah. Was Ronaldo just a in, passenger? In my <laughs> Come on, man. Was Ronaldo riding shotgun? Some say Ronaldo was the water carrier, bro. <laughs> was he riding shotgun? <laughs> Jeez, bro. No, 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 no. Come on. Don't just suspect him now. <laughs> yeah, see, like, there's, there's a level of, like... No, I, Bar- I said... Barca still won without Messi. Yeah. R- I think, Ronaldo, I think that's where... Ronaldo's fourth all time on my list. Fourth? I've said this multiple times. Who okay. was before him? It's... it's, it's Brazilian. In terms of goat, it's Pele <laughs> yeah. first, then Messi, then Maradona, then Ronaldo. No, that's no. my list. Ooh. Messi is not second, man. Yeah, Messi's not second. Come on, who's bro. second? For me, it's Ronaldo. I like Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Second. Yeah, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah. So who's first for you? Better than Maradona? Pele. Pele? Yeah. Than <laughs> you saw the light. Eh? <laughs> I had to. I had to. Man, man start doing some more research. You know. You saw oh, the documentary. <laughs> I have to say, Pele. I, I would go, Pele. Ronaldo, Damn. that's crazy. And then, and then it's like gets tough between Maradona and, and Messi. When did you mm. switch up like that? No, no, no. I never <laughs> gave you a full breakdown. <laughs> that's crazy. I never gave crazy. you a full breakdown, but that's where I see it. I don't know. It's it, it, and and I just look at it and I just like does a goat stop trying? Because we we had some arguments where you're like, oh, like Messi just not trying. Like Messi just like does a true goat. Ever stop trying? No, that is fair. The thing like, is, why is he on vacation for that one thing that he doesn't have? The World Cup. He has to prepare a whole year for a World Cup. Yeah, look what he's doing. The amount of look times he's, he's doing played, for how he's had to carry Barca these past how many years, bro? But your well, back's hurting, man. Carry Barca <laughs> is such a crazy you think, you thing you to say. Mbappe carried him this year. Yeah. The, well, that's the Messi, thing. Messi's but that's the thing. Right uh, Messi knew, okay, I don't have to do much because yeah. I have Mbappe and Neymar. Look, look, look. You you can say, okay, people are saying, oh, Messi's washed. Messi's washed. He goes to play for for Argentina. 
What do you do? He oh, wins the thing. Finalisma. He scores five goals against Port- uh, Ronaldo's Ripping favorite player. Ripping, Ripping it. Ripping it. He's going nuts. So like, and that, that's another thing. Where's the mentality? So he's still he's still he's there though. Go- the he's still everything. there. He's prepping for what he doesn't have. No, 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 no. That's what I think. That's, he's that, doing. that's not goat mentality, dude. The, the Liga is nothing, man. But in yes. CL, he did nothing too. The PSG do the, much? The PSG, yeah, it doesn't come out to I, him. I mean, if he would have performed, maybe they would have won. Yeah. They're, they played I mean, Madrid. We him. were seeing Donnarumma before the issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, but if, if there was three of their players that made a mistake, not just Donnarumma. But but if you have you have three of the world's best players on your team, you don't you shouldn't be losing. Yeah, we have a donkey of a coach too. Yeah, I know that. But that, that, that front three alone should be able to carry. No, I understand. We all had PSG doing really well if not winning it. No. Things happen. Messi is my GOAT. Or like, he's over Ronaldo GOAT. Yeah. But I, I do like that argument. Why is he on vacation? Like, He's won everything. That, but that's not, but that's not the goal. mentality a lot more. You take the league serious, man. You should. Come on. You, know, you have to. You have to. But does that mean he's just form. wasting a year of his career? He's prepping. Yeah, he did. What? He's prepping. That's prepping not, for what? Yeah, he's meal prepping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's meal prepping, bro. No, he's prepping to lose to Brazil and Qatar? Damn, like, relax, that's man. Yeah, like, it's not, for me, it's not goat. It's not, it's not goat moves. No. You know what I mean? Where it's like, Ronaldo is like, if I feel like if he can go to fucking forty, he's he gonna will. do it. You can. It, it, it's 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 mentality, right? And and when okay, here's another question: Who do you think had more of an impact on the game in terms of like the the way they played? Do you awesome. think, not even close. Ronaldo, but, yeah. but not many people could play like Messi. That's a thing. Yeah, it's harder to play like Messi than it is to play like for Ronaldo. sure. And I think that has a massive part to do with just the absolute massive amount of natural talent that he was born with. Mm-hmm. Not to say he doesn't work hard. I'm sure he does. But who do the kids look at when they go, fuck? Like, who no, do like, I want to be I can't like? lie. Ronaldo has the streets. Yeah, he, he has, has the streets. streets. He has, he has, the has streets. that celebration. Every, no one knows what Messi celebration is. Everyone's saying Sue. Everyone's saying Sue, everyone's saying Sue, Sue. on the streets. Everyone's yeah. doing the celebration, bro. Like, yeah. our night. And, 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 we streets, and we were able to see the impact of, like, what he could do for different teams when he left. Went to Juve. How many fans did he bring with him? This guy almost said Ronaldo was bigger than the club. What trophies, though? No. Yeah, he had two. Fair, fair. No CL. Yeah, that's okay, what that's man. what that's that, what that he came sucked. to Juve to do. Uh, Juventus team sucked. No, 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 no CL, which is fine. I, I could agree with that, but it, it for me, it's the cultural impact that puts him over. And obviously, it's my opinion. But who are the kids going to talk about? CR seven. Who do the kids want to be like? CR seven. Yeah, so like Mike. Ready. Like CR7. It just is what <laughs> it is. That's a bar. That's a bar. It's true, That's but it's bar. true. It's true. And and I'm a firm believer that he will make his way to the States one day, the MLS. Uh, he's not, he's not allowed there, bro. Yeah, Come but everyone wants to say these things. I don't know. You guys are the only two guys I've ever heard that from. I've never hey, heard that before. Bro, once he touches LAX, he's getting extradited, bro. Nah, you, guys, bro. You, guys, you, guys been, you guys been reading too many conspiracies. The marketing, the marketing got to you guys, eh? <laughs> the marketing. Bro, at the end of the day, money talks, bro. He can pay his way in there. That, that's what I said. I said, I said, listen, if, talks, if Ronaldo wants man. to come to the States, Ronaldo can come to the States. Yeah. But he's know. like, dude, yeah. he's like, I'm the GOAT. I'm going to stay here longer. Show my dominance at my age, 37. Like, okay, sure, Man U. What is Man U without Ronaldo this year? Of course, nothing. They're probably worse. Eighth, maybe. Ninth, maybe. Zero? No, like, yeah. They're nothing. <laughs> like, they're nothing. What's PSG without Messi? The same, same team. team. Yeah. See, two nah, years younger, true. two years younger. Let's let, let's make sure that's known, and that's why I'm saying you got to look and say, okay, pretty even on on accolades, statistics pretty even, but now we got to compare them in their older age, and Ronaldo's still performing. See, but that's the that's thing too. Talk. Ronaldo, he wants everything. He wants to, that's he wants mentality. to perform. He want, but Messi knows I can get off the gas a bit here. Yeah. I can take off the gas a bit. I don't have to. I don't have to force myself. I have mess. I have Neymar and Mbappe who can help me out here. Let me get off the gas. Let me focus. You know. Let me make sure I'm in my right mood set. Take a little break with my wife, my kids here in Paris, and I go to the World Cup. No, that argument looks so bad for Messi. Yeah, is it? it can look, look so bad, bad, no, no, bad no. for Messi. The end of the day, that, like he, not- he has two world class players beside him. Who does Ronaldo have? Of course, Ronaldo has to go off. But he was meant to go there to win the UCL. Okay. A lot they, of P- if Ronaldo was to go to PSG, who would be the star of that team? Mbappe. Mbappe, you think Mbappe, Mbappe would be the star yeah. of Ronaldo? Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe is king of France. Mbappe is taking over Messi and Neymar right so. now. I don't think so. I think Ronaldo. No. Would be Mbappe is taking over Messi and Neymar. I'm, I, I'd and say he's, they're probably and he's even. doing it in the Champions League. Hmm? He's doing it in the Champions League too. You don't think Ronaldo would be doing the Champions League with that team? 
He did in Champions League. Where is he? What? Okay. If, I said with that team. What do you do in Champions League with that team? Yes, but Mbappe is the star player. I, I don't know, man. 100%. I think everything would run through Ronaldo. No. Just like every team is. I, Ronaldo, Real Madrid ran through him. Juve ran through him. United like you said, you didn't have anyone else. They had a shit team around him. It doesn't matter. Through him. Man, you have no one else right now. They, they didn't go through him. Was so what you're saying is Ronaldo needs a team around him to perform. Every player needs a team around him. You put, Bar- you put Messi into the Barca team last year. Did they win anything? Eight La Ligas in 11 years. No, last year. When they were shit. We all have a... What they won last year. <laughs> we all have a, those moments. I mean, I mean, you guys are actually making a good argument for Ronaldo. In that he still performs even with a shit team. I don't know, bro. Come on. I mean, Messi, 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 I don't Messi, know, bro. Messi, <laughs> Messi is one of very few players who is elite in three different areas. Goal scoring, playmaking, and dribbling. Who else is elite in all three areas? You're saying Ronaldo's not? No. Take away goals from Ronaldo. What does he have? Dribbling. All he has is goals. No dribbling? You're saying he doesn't know Not anymore. Dribbling? He's well, not in his early 20s anymore. Ronaldo can't no. dribble, bro. Not anymore. Ronaldo can't, can't play me. Bro, you see Ronaldo do a step but over now? He's tripping over the ball. We're talking about all time Ronaldo. Ronaldo had dribbling in his locker. Come on. Messi's still the better dribbling. Messi's still doing it. Obviously. no one's. I don't think anyone's better. But where, but where, hold on. But Messi. where is Messi doing it? Because I haven't seen it. I didn't see it this season. He's doing what against Estonia. Five goals. He's got 14 assists this season. Bro. That's goat for you. That's goat. That's goat movements. That, that's not goat movements. For you. Nineteen goals in the EPL is goat movements. Nineteen goals against Salah and Son. Boom, boom. See what I mean? So I like look, and then and then I think, I think Messi's doing himself a disservice by the way he's he's ending. He's helping people move to to the Ronaldo side. People that were in the middle, he's helping them go that way. Yeah, for real. If we take, if we take, if we take legacy and mentality out of it which like i don't think you should because i think that's a part of the goat conversation then i think it's it, messi is a no-brainer talent wise much higher like i wouldn't even put them neck and neck but you but you have to you have to my question is now are we talking about the better player or the better like athlete the no go go greatest go. of all time what brings, what is, brand, brand is a part of it brand's a part of it it is but now my question is what if messi had that what if messi had that pr he doesn't though. What if he, I'm asking? What if he did? What do you, well, why what doesn't he? Because he? he doesn't care he doesn't about care, it. It's bro. all about football for he's him. He's an introvert, man. He just wants football, to play. Football, but he doesn't want to play. He wants to play football, bro. Messi <laughs> you, yeah, you're, you're. I know what Messi has. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? He doesn't want to talk. You say wait. You're saying he, all he cares about football, but he's not playing football. Yeah, I mean, that's facts. And, yeah. and, and if you said he doesn't care. He's still playing. He's resting. He's still playing. Yeah, he was injured a bit. Ronaldo loves football. Yes, he loves he loves his face more than anything. Ronaldo, Ronaldo easily. Ronaldo has more of that competitor mindset. He's he's the he's that alpha on the field. Like gets gets the job done. Gets the team fired up. Like when Messi walks in the locker room. Yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. Are like, damn, that's Messi. But he doesn't, doesn't really have to speak. He lets his ability Come speak on. for yeah. himself. Bro. You rather and, and, I, and, I, I rather see Ronaldo mad than Messi mad in the field. Messi mad, bro. That guy's a different player. But what, how He's, long? How how much does it happen? He, he, he should have been mad a lot of times. Why wasn't he mad enough against against Real Madrid? <laughs> he should, shouldn't he have been mad? Or Germany. Or Germany. He, went, he brought him to the finals. got lucky, bro. <laughs> yeah. The legend. Bro, Go to had, the legend. Like you were saying, he had Higuain as a guy who was yeah, missing everything. He was missing sitters. Was Palacio was missing sitters? Like, come on, bro. I mean, he was, was so missing sitters. I will, I will, so say, I will say he was I missing I don't care about Argentina, though. <laughs> of course no, he does. Gosh. I don't care about it. But I think, but I think <clears throat> it's all part of it. And and yeah, I don't. I don't think he does love football, or else he would be playing properly. Why? Why? Why do you leave Barca anyways? He had to. I got forced though. Yeah, but everyone says he that, but to. no one really knows the actual answer. I asked no, you. No, this, and you're he, the guy. You should know everything. Ask him. It's because uh, like the La Liga president, he said like a certain like a uh, like a uh, thing like on how much uh, teams could spend on a certain, certain salaries, yeah. okay. like a certain salary cap, and Barca were over that. So they had to sell him basically to try to balance the budgets. So Even he, selling him too, they're still over. So if he if he cared about football, you think he he, he wouldn't have taken like why didn't he take a pay cut? He, he, he did. He tried. You could only go up to fifty percent. You can't take like more than fifty percent pay cut. Okay. Like Danny Alves coming in and 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 doing a what was he what was his wage? Something super low. Super low because he came in. You can't reduce your your wage yeah. oh, already by, by a certain amount. Yeah, you okay. can't redu- if you're getting a new player, then yeah, you can af- offer whatever wage he's okay with, but you yeah, can't yeah, reduce yeah. it from fifty percent because yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I I just think yeah no I just think like 
Messi's not helping himself no. on this goal conversation going into the like the the next. Like, Based on this past year and where he's headed, but you like, can't base it off just this past one, two, few years. You gotta base no, it no. off everything. No, for sure. And then, but that's what I'm saying. Based off everything, aren't you guys would say they're pretty even when it comes to accolades, statistics? They're this pretty past much past couple of years tarnish his name a little bit. It has to, and I don't think MLS is gonna help that. I don't know. He if he wins a World Cup and goes to MLS after, then okay. Do if your he thing. wins a World Cup. We're, t- we're having a different retiring? conversation. We're so wait for that. I think even no, if we have that. a decent run too. Okay. Even okay. Let me ask you. Run. Who are you thinking about making a better what, run? What, Who's making a better run? What, okay. Hold on. What happens if what happens if Ronaldo wins? Are we going to come back here? You guys say he's a goat. Sure? Portugal ain't winning, bro. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. That winning. is a good question. If Portugal do win the World Cup, what are that, you saying? Yeah. What are, are you? Are we saying? having this conversation? I'll have them even. I'll have them even. No, you guys are crazy. So no, no. I have Messi wins. If Messi wins, he stays the goal. Because Messi's still over Ronaldo, in my opinion. Oh, that's crazy. And then if Ronaldo wins the World Cup, then and who do I think goes further? I think Portugal goes farther. They're actually my dark horse for the tournament. Who's in the group again? <laughs> They're probably a favorite. You can't say dark horse. Bro. Favorite? Why? They're top five. I don't top think. Five? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think there's Brazil, think Argentina, are. France. Spain, Somebody pull France, up bet three six five, baby. Maybe Portugal. Seriously, they're Maybe fifth Portugal. six. They're fifth six. Yeah, they. No, further top four. Now they're fifth six. <laughs> I I think they do better than Argentina. I don't know. Maybe maybe okay. a hot take. Maybe but, not. But nonetheless, if Argentina don't win the World Cup. And then Messi's going to MLS right after. It is a tough send off. But well, who said he goes to MLS right after? What if he comes no, back to Barca? What if he comes back to Barca? Then I don't know. But Please from what we know, to Barca. <laughs> from, from, from what we know right now, <laughs> he bought what thirty percent of Inter Miami, and he's going to MLS. Yeah, he's so made his intentions all talk, bro. very clear. No, no, he's made hey, his intentions very clear. If I don't hear him saying that, then I don't believe anything. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> That's true. So where's this report talk. coming from? So then where's this coming talk. from? Yeah. What's the source? His dog? Like, like, come on. Is Ronaldo saying it? So you think it's Messi's Messi? leaving? I don't know. It's, is it confirmed by the source himself? The, the score posted Messi doesn't believe it. anything. The score? Top network. No, yeah, but who does the score legit. get this from, though? The score post is legit. What? The score again? Wasn't like, I have What's that message in there? Like, like, how do they know? It was the score. It's, it's going to happen. And when it happens... It, it's just, it's not a good send off. It's not a good send off for him. Not. He's really like, okay. But he's had an amazing career. Ama- it doesn't matter Unreal. if it's a good or bad send off. How, how much longer does it have to go? Look at Ronaldo. Well, if R9. he wants to compete, if he wants R- to compete against, if if he wants to compete against Cristiano CR7, then he's got to keep going. That's because then, because then there's always this argument of like, oh, you know, they pushed each other. But now Ronaldo's pushing himself. That's nah, bro. Again, he's still he's still looking at mentality. Messi. He's still looking up at Messi. No, no, bro. he's looking down because Messi's still following him in like top goal Come scores. On, Messi could pass him, but apparently... Messi, you know, Messi is the player with the most GA in history. That means nothing. How does that mean nothing? GA. Okay, well, he doesn't have Jeez. the records though. What? So that's what the most? What was the most he has international? Four what was the most international goals of all time? Messi is very, very. Who, 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 did, who does Portugal <laughs> play against? Luxembourg, Estonia, Vatican Messi just City. Messi just scored five yeah, in like one game. One. I don't like that one. Messi just scored five you, in one you, game. Europe's easy, bro. Bro, they're playing plumbers in Europe. Like, Messi has to on, score. Bro. Messi has to score. Play against two more teams, get ten goals, and he'll be tied. I think. Bro, Messi's got to play in the high altitudes of La Paz. Meanwhile, Cristiano's <laughs> playing against. You know Starbucks. how hard it is like, against to face against Bolivia. You can't breathe up there, man. You need oxygen, oh, man. Bro, you can't the breathe. Game. Are you guys, you need you oxygen after after the game. using Bolivia no. as an argument? Yeah. There are, there are on, national bro. teams. Like, bro, you need oxygen after the game. There are European national guys, teams that have to go the with The thing with is, the oxygen. lower South American teams are better than the lower European teams. Yeah, okay. That's fine. But the higher European teams well, are hold on, better than Yes, the but when you're doing European qualifiers, you have one good team in your yeah, group. You have one yeah, good team. The rest is like Vatican City. You have like Belarus, Luxembourg, Estonia. Okay, hold on. You... You can't. Is it, it's not Ronaldo's fault. There's more countries in Europe than there is no, in South not, America. No, it's not. You gotta, you gotta stay. It's true, though. It is true. No, that, that's that's true. I'll give you that. And you got that's players true. hacking Messi, bro. It's 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 also facts that uh, facing South American teams, it's harder. Yeah, they go yeah. at you, man. Neymar gets fouled like over 18 times I mean, a game. Which, Neymar's okay, a guy. My, in the last, let's let's use the last like 50 years, more European teams won or more South American teams won. European. Yeah, but uh, more European teams are more developed than South American sides. Not a lot of money is going into South American teams. So no, but all their players are playing in Europe. They're all playing in Europe and then just going back and putting on the home jersey. Yeah, but naturally the percentages are less because five South American teams make it, thirteen European teams do. How many good European? And plus, teams like you oh, said, yeah. like it's, good, it's third on, world on. countries in oh, South yeah, America. Hold on a second. 
yeah, 13 European teams make it, but how many are actually winning? Spain, Italy, Germany. That's it. France? France. France, England? Sorry. England won? No. Win, bro, win. If Come it's on. 60, okay, bro. Go 60. That's like, that's like us you guys so that was Italy's goals. first Euro, 68. No, I'm saying that we, we have won. Okay. That's, that's okay. No, Spain have won as well. Yeah, let's let's talk about, okay. They're more recent. Let's, like I'm saying, sure, there's more there's more teams, but at the end of the day, Denmark's not winning. Sweden's not winning. Switzerland, uh, Serbia. Switzerland's not winning. Serbia's not winning. Like, sure, they're they're in there, but they're not winning. Even Belgium, they're not winning either. Okay, so now so, okay, so now you look at now you look at the top the top European teams. It, I'm, Italy not right now, but Italy, Spain, France, Germany. Those are my four. England won one in sixty six. Let's let's be realistic here. Okay, and then South America. Who are their Who are their top Argentina, teams? Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. You can't even see Uruguay anymore. They have two though. Yeah, the first two. Uruguay are not that. They're, no, not they're, in, they're, they're in the not tournament. No, Colombia's out. Oh, out. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uruguay's in. Peru. Not yet. Chile's not in. Chile's not in. Chile's not in. Like, that's a lot. That's a good team. So, so you look and you, and you like, it, like, it's not that much more. Although 13 teams make it, it's not that much more. When, when they get to the tournament, the place that it really all matters, what's he doing? What has Messi done? He made the finals. He had his chance. He didn't get it. How's the closest Ronaldo's been? That's a, that's a <laughs> Ronaldo has zero goals in World Cup knockout games. Zero. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say, like, if I have to say, the Euro, the Euro they won was brutal. Mickey Mouse, bro. It was, it was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. They I got third place in their They group. got three off ties, pretty yeah. much, right? Penalties. And then Ronaldo was a cheerleader in the final. <laughs> huh? Italy. What? It's recent year. Was Italy's not brutal? No. No, how, where? The Euros They're where? the best team at the Euro. Euro. They where was Italy's brutal? Hold on a second. That was Spain advocate. was a better team. One team, and they were terrible in the knockouts. They were so better. Technically, Italy you guys was the beat best them in penalties. Defenders. Was France not a better team too? No. I think so. On paper, maybe. Okay. <laughs> they, got, they, got luck, they got unlucky. Who? France. France? They got unlucky in the Euros. Unfortunately, Mbappe... Nah, France is I don't I don't care about France either. Those guys aren't that good. Damn. Nah, favorites for World Cup are Brazil, Argentina, France. Those are the three top teams. Is that facts? Yeah. I th- I think Spain's better than. That's Argentina. official. Bet three six five odds. Hmm? Is that bet three six five? That's my, yeah. that's my official. <laughs> with, with, I said facts. With bro. The screen, <laughs> I said facts. You give me here. <laughs> we need the screenshot confirmation based, based off the routes that could happen. I'm curious. I I want to actually see like the, like from the odds. So it probably will be Argentina. Brazil, will be. Brazil's favorite. Yeah, we know that. I think so England favorite, is up man. there for some, yeah, for just some yeah. reason. Brazil's been favorite since uh, 1998. Oh every year. Yeah, what did sure, they do? Sure. Nothing. Well, they Good stuff. Seven one exits. I'd rather not be in the World Cup <laughs> no, stop than stop lose seven one <laughs> to Germany. Yeah, and look who didn't play that game. Two best my players. Goal. My goal. You think that those two players would have helped? Yeah. yeah. yeah you miss your captain. Okay. Your best. Okay, maybe it would have been five. Okay. Five, two. Okay. Even if you don't think on the pitch, mentality wise, it helps. You don't think these you, players you think are mentally you're, finished you're when going, you're captain your best player out? You're going into a World Cup semifinal at home. Pressure's mounting. You're missing your captain, who's your second best player, and your best player, who's your talent. Is that the year that Germany won it all? Yeah. You think that you guys would have stopped that team? That team I don't know if Brazil would have won, but it wouldn't have been 7-1. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been 7-1, been 7-1 one. but they would, you guys would have still lost. Maybe. Yeah, but maybe. maybe they could have won. That's why you s- never know. But 7-1 is no. bad, dude. Oh, that's bad for the home. culture. That's tough, That's bad That's why we rebounded with the Olympics. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, oh, Germany. Oh, oh, Who are Germany playing in the Olympics? We got, yeah, we got their revenge back, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Germany plays were pretty sad. Was it like Ayoko play? playing? Max Meyer. Hey. Oh, oh, Gnabry. Oh, Gnabry was there. Gnabry yeah. was no one back then. Ginter? Who's Ginter? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. Okay, nonetheless, oh. the German players were pretty Did sad. You cry? Did you cry when they won the they won the the Olympics? I shed a happy tear. No, no, no. Did you cry when they did you cry when they lost seven one? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's because I was in Brazil. So you just felt the emotion. Oh, you were in Brazil uh, too? Jeez. Damn. I just felt the emotion. Sucking a bar. So it started raining out there. You felt the emotion. You felt the emotion. Sucks to Damn. suck, I guess. Man. I was going to say, like, and then that's the other thing. It's like, Brazil's this footy nation, footy nation, footy nation. They haven't actually won anything important in my eyes since 2002. Oh, my oh, okay. God. Okay. Oh. When was it his last World Cup? 06? That's only four years out there, Brazil. <laughs> and then you're going to say Euro. Brazil won 2019 Cup America. Bro, when That's there was five tournaments in four years, year, whatever, four <laughs> tournaments in five yeah. years. There's always an asterisk. Trophy. There's yeah, always an asterisk, on. huh? No, there has to be an asterisk on that. I don't know. Okay, Saka doesn't miss his penalty. And then, and then you're it, comparing, it continues. You're comparing, you're comparing the fact of 
four tournaments in five years to one guy missing a penalty. Our goalie saved it, by the way. He didn't miss the Sancho net. Sancho also missed. Yeah. Yeah. What if he didn't? You Our can goalie, see that on every play. Exactly. No, what if Bajo, what if Bajo didn't miss? Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you can, can but, handle it, bro. No, but what I'm saying. The, the, the <laughs> nonetheless, is, Brazil had beat Italy in two World Cup finals. Fractals. Nice. You're just saying that to rub it in. All, all I'm saying is this. Let me know. Let me know when they win yeah. a World Cup and you actually remember it. I was there. <laughs> it was oh, early, yeah, but I was watching. No, you nah, right? can't remember. Right? 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 You don't even remember 06. I, 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 I do. I, 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 was, I was at Mark Lane 06. Bro, I don't even remember. I, okay, I, I don't know how you don't remember. Bro, it's because the games were at like what? 3 a.m.? 9 a.m.? No, 6 like 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Nah, you think as a kid, like, we were in the Listen, let me know. That's all I'm going to say. All this talk, it's great. Just wait this year, bro. Listen. I have money on them, so like I actually <laughs> hope, I actually hope they okay, do. Okay, but well. nonetheless, but they're not going to. That word What's <laughs> going Neymar is better than any b- Italian player since Baggio, since he missed that uh, that penalty. You agree? On God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> since he That's missed fine. that penalty, That's since fine. it was skied into the air, Neymar has been better than any Italian. Jeez, player. bro, you don't gotta be so ball? depictive, too, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Outside of Neymar, anybody, anybody else? Like, like, would you say? R9 is better than any Italian player. Yes. Or yes. Ronaldinho. No, I'm just asking. Yeah. Dino, yeah. R9 R- R- is my goat in terms of talent. Okay. Okay. Look, I, this is this is where I'll end this debate. When you can remember <laughs> a World Cup, we'll try it again. It's not, Bro, do you it's remember, not his fault he was born. I <laughs> do you re- <laughs> but do you remember playing in World Cups? What it feels like? Like the country, I do, and like, hasn't been good. Yeah, I mean, but 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 I I shed I shed tears of happiness in 06. I, I celebrated on St. Clair. I have the memory, you know. I remember Here's, that. I have a memory that I was there. The the last memory of you being somewhere and something happening to Brazil was you cried in 2014 when they lost and it rained after. Hey, his last yeah. ah, confederations no. cup. His Olympics, last memory bro. was celebrating uh, Italy's Euro win at Market Lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Nah, his last <laughs> memory. <laughs> Italy kid on too. You know what I mean? Come on. It's like uh, listen. You can say what you want to say. You're living in the Italian capital of Canada right now. And you love it. And you, <laughs> you love, love it. it. And you, you love, love it. it. <laughs> Italian shorties. I know. I There's know no how Frank it is. It's Italian. Welcome to the show. I'm you know a product I mean? of my environment. <laughs> <laughs> if, That's if, crazy. If, if you just want to join the dark side, no, just never, come on never. over. You know what I mean? He says that while he's wearing the Italy. <laughs> 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 I, I was that guy, Euro 2012, semifinal, TV in the school with the projector. Yeah. Cheering for Germany against Italy. So you switched up. Me and Josh, that's it. You switched up because of the glory yeah, now, right? Yeah. It's just a kit. Okay. So, so, bro. I, I, I wear kits for how they look. Okay, bro. Whoa. I like that. Okay, my fault. That's tricky. Okay. My fault. Won't go there, though. <laughs> okay, would you ever put a Madrid jersey on? Madrid kits look I have, nice. I have. Men's league ones, no? <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, so has he, to be honest. Count. That doesn't count. Yeah. That doesn't but, count. That's if it's for the culture. What? What do you mean by that? <laughs> All I'm going to say is... I don't want to see you at Mark. I better not catch you at Market Lane, eh? Next year, I better make sure you're not there. <laughs> I thought you were about to say World Cup, but like, no, no, no. Hey, listen. Would there be a Market Lane in the snow? Because it's going to be winter. Yeah, bro. The vibes are totally off, man. Winter. Okay, time? that's no, actually a good question. Been. I don't know if the. Is there going to be parties here? Like, are people going to party the same way? You can't. Maybe How? Can. Can't. Uh, for Canada, but it's not the same Canada. vibe. No, you you know what I think people are going to do? This is completely off topic, but I think, I think, like, for example, like, rebel or something like a big like big Venue? venues are gonna host yeah. parties like know, how, else, how else do you do it that's yeah, pretty yeah. no that's pretty hype though get that's a pretty DJ hype in there and then have the game yeah but in the mornings though oh, the, no yeah, the no the games aren't that bad it's 9 a.m noon and three and you know for sure the, actually i don't know about this city i would i would hope that they like allow people to drink earlier like they yeah you're right from <laughs> to, you have to it's the world cup they will. Yeah. you have to I think yeah. I think you'll see more of that here. Would there be a market lane? Maybe not market lane, but you'd be at like Paramount at the fucking sure. the banquet hall and just yeah. be ripping. <laughs> at the end of the day, you guys all want to party with us, eh? So it's like, say who you guys were you guys at Market Lane? Market yeah, lane? I remember lane? Was here. Market lane? I can't lie, there's footage. So. <laughs> 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 you you were hanging with all the Napoli Tans. For yeah. content. Yes. content I the you were hugging Napoli Tans. They thought wow. I was I was wearing a Napoli jersey. They thought I was Nap- Nap- Napoli t- I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we were there. Yeah, I, I everyone know. was there. Bello Bros were there. Bello Brini. The guys it was a bellow kind of day. It know? was a be- it was it was a bellow summer. Yeah. It was. It was a good. It I was. would say I would say it was a bellow summer. No, 
to be honest, I'm glad Italy won because yeah, we no. needed that because our, our Italy fresheners came in. Like, <laughs> perfect timing. Bro. Like, Literally, right before we left for Mercury Lane. Perfect timing, bro. They arrived at my doorstep. The shell truck pulled up right before, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. Legit. That's amazing. God, That's yeah. amazing. It's crazy, bro. Well, who? The, the Barella. Donnarumma. No, the Donnarumma was after. Yeah. The Barella, though, yeah. The Barella They're pulled like up. somewhere over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, but yeah, no, anyways, uh, I think we had a couple of good debates. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, we'll end it off there. Uh, appreciate you coming. Oh, yes, guys, thank, thank you for you, having bro. me. Thank you for having me. We'll. Uh, I was telling Jay, we got to get some like footy guys in here, some players. Hundred you know, percent. We got some 100%. guys on the. <laughs> we got some guys on the uh, on the list. We'll talk yeah. about off yeah. off camera, but yeah. we gotta get you back too, man. Yeah, no, maybe 100%. for the World Cup, we'll do a little live stream or something. Dude, we gotta you get and you Ernesto together. We gotta get you guys, or or even like you guys come by our office and film there and we get the yeah. we get like a whole 100%. like heavy Obviously. setup going but yeah guys seriously thank you for having me i appreciate it it was uh some some good banter yeah, oh, yeah. and uh yeah <laughs> hopefully i can be back on again soon i don't know if, i don't know if you'll let you back on <laughs> he's not gonna let you back on, uh, I'm back on <laughs> and listen any of my canada guys i love you eh maybe you didn't make the right decision in my eyes but i love you guys and i don't know anything so don't hate me i love you guys sam you go. my guy sam out of kube hold on i gotta Ooh, make one shout out sam out of kube i've been i've been i've been i've been in the dms telling him Canada's most underrated player. I'll say it. Low I'll key, say bro, it. Low key. So there's footage here. In my eyes, most underrated, most underrated Canada player. We'll see what happens. Watch, what do you watch, say though? Watching the World Cup. He say, what yeah, do you you're say? right. He said, Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. So, that's it. We'll leave it at that. I actually, I actually, fuck man. The jersey was supposed to come today. I ordered a Sam Adekubi Dude. Canada jersey. Oh, yeah. yeah, for my guy. Jeez. So, anyways, that's yeah, crazy. guys, appreciate you. Yeah, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Up, nonetheless, yeah. Um, <laughs> Smash the like button, <laughs> drop a comment, rate the pod five stars. Um, we the culture, man. Yeah, man. The culture. The culture, bro. Inshallah. Inshallah. With that, we out. We out, boys. Later. Later.